your style and your flavor make the city rock. They must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzy, best round here. Remember that. Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to the coach's desk. Yes, this is where we take you from track side. And as you can see in the background, we're up on a truck, people. So when we're up on a truck, you know, we're expecting things to happen. So big up to the persons who are on. Thank you very much for tuning in. Big up to the people on Facebook and so forth. Welcome to our guest, um, co-host, I would say, Fabian Gunner. What's happening, Fabian? Bless up, coach. Bless up. Thanks for having me on, on your show for today. Yeah, man. No problem. And people, while I go through this video, I'm going to encourage you to check out um, Fabian's channel, Shark Talk with Fabian. He's going to be having some interesting um, content over there. You can't afford to miss it. So jump on over there if you're in the comment section and you are you are you're listening just take a few moments just to go and subscribe to uh track talk with fabian very interesting content over there people all right so in this video we'll be talking about the team that has been selected to the world athletics championship and as you can see in the title the athlete in Andrew Hudson, he was initially selected. However, he has been withdrawn because of some issues. Pick up yourself, Fabian Full. Pick up yourself. Welcome, welcome. Mr. Masson, now come to clear it. Yeah, it's so muffled a bit. Yeah. Like a microphone giving problems or something. Hold on, let me listen. It. Um, just a second, dear people. Um, in the meantime, you can send the um your link for your channel in the in the in the private chat, so I can I can get the call. All right, I want to hear it. Uh, da, 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 da. Check, check, check. All right, testing, testing. All right, testing, testing. Oh, it's so now we have to turn. Okay, so Alright, so coach having some audio issues. Just want to thank everybody for joining us um for today. Uh we'll be discussing the Jamaican contingent for the world championships. Alright, so coach, we'll just do a quick check. You know how it goes with technology. Sometimes you do all the checks, you come on, and then technology just, just decide um to fail so again big up to everybody uh coming in good morning good evening good night depending on wherever you are in the world and thanks for joining us i'm i'm anticipating a very good um show today so we're just having just a few technical difficulties um coach is sorting um those out so as soon as coach finish sorting those out then we can jump right back into um jump right back into what we want to to discuss today all right um in a few minutes uh coach will post the link to my my channel in the um comment section all right so i would ask you to go over there subscribe you like the content share it with a friend and we can have dialogue 
But coach is back now, so let's check, 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 check. Right, sounds much better now. That's all it. right. Yeah, man, that is it. All right, so uh, sorry about that, people. I had to refresh the browser. And so, yeah, man. So, Fabian, send the link, man. We could drop it in the comment section right away. And we can pin it so the persons can understand. Um, they can know where to find you. All right, so, yeah, man. Welcome, everybody. Like I said, we'll be talking about the team that would be heading off to Eugene and one such individual that has not made it it's it, it, it's sad it's sad it's sad but it is what it is the rules are what govern sports and once you aren't a part of or in line with the rules then certainly, certainly, you will have to pay. We also have um, Fabian, an, an interview will be coming up um, shortly on the coach's desk with um, the beautiful Danielle Dowie. She will be um, in a, uh, well, we interviewed her and we'll be dropping that video in short order. So, you can look out for that one, people. You can look out for that one. We're never stop. You understand? So we keep putting in the work to ensure that you are aware of what is happening. All right, before I bring up the... All right. All right, that's the link to Fabian's channel. Let me pin it. Let me pin it. All right, people. So, yeah, there you have it. You can subscribe to the channel and give Fabian some support. Very good at um, analyzing the, the sport. So, we just want you to show your support. All right, so... Fabian, before we, we, we get in, into anything, the Andrew Otso thing is the main, main, because there's no re really no surprise on the team, so to speak. But the Andrew Hudson situation is, is, is the main contention or probably the main thing that persons don't really understand and would want to explain it to them. What are your thoughts on this situation? All right, so it, 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 is, it happens all the time. Um, it's just that the request wasn't sent in early enough. Mm -hmm. So if, if those of you will remember, Andrew Hudson actually competed at the U.S. trials last year, the U.S. Olympic trials. That was a year ago. And so he would not be eligible to participate or run for Jamaica until July 28th this year. And the World Championships start on July 15. So it's just a timeline um, issue. Athletes do that all the time where they change from um, one country to the next. It's just, it's unfortunate for him that he's not able because honestly, going forward, I don't think the 200 meter team will be that easy to make in the, in the future. So it's unfortunate for him. But if he's willing to put in the work and fight the other Jamaicans, then by the next World Championships, which is next year, 2023, you should be able to run for Jamaica. Yeah, man. So for persons who don't know, he's American-born. He was the national champion. He won the 200 meters um, at the trials. He was earlier listed on the team, but he has been left out. Um, basically, what happens... Um, he basically failing to get his approval on time. All right. Uh, he basically stunned the, the, the onlookers at the country's national trials, finishing ahead of pre-race favorite, of course, Johan Blake and Nigel Ellis. 
Um, Hudson was one of the three athletes who applied to the Jamaica Athletic Administrative Association, which is a J3, to switch allegiance and were approved to compete at the championships. However, the J3 was, um, was optimistic regarding the athlete being given clearance to represent the country before the world championships in Oregon. According to a release, however, the athletes will not receive clearance in time for the games. Hudson will, as a result, not be eligible to uh, compete for Jamaica until July 28th. That is way after the, <laughs> they were, um, the, a few days after the, 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 the athletics championship, or many days after the 200 meters. All right? He has been replaced, however, by fourth place finisher Akeem Bloomfield in the 200 meter. You understand? So he has been replaced by Akeem Bloomfield. Kind of a redemption for 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 Bloomfield there to uh you know represent. Um you see it's not months for clearance, you know. You see the the, 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 the time span in which he represented the country. That was that that's the issue basically. That's a real issue. Right? And also we have the junior team. We have the junior team as well. We'll be telling you about the junior team. So we have all the information here for you to people. So let's delve right into the team. So as expected, 100 meters, Shelly and Fraser Price, Sherika Jackson, Kemba Nelson, Elaine Thompson, um, Brenna Williams will be the alternate, just in case. Um, for the male, Johan Blake, Oblique Civil, Akeem Blake, Jelani Walker will be the alternate. No surprises there, right, um, Fabian? Yeah, that, that's that's pretty straightforward. Um, um, uh, for those wondering why we have five females and um, four males, remember we have four females that were champs because of um, Shelly and Fraser being the defending champ. All right, so that's why we have um, four females and Brianna as the alternate there. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty straightforward for both males and females in the one hundred. If there was a if there was a different rule, we could have had five of those ladies representing. Yes. Because yes. Elaine is the diamond winner and Shelly is the reigning champion. So we would have would, we would have had two buys. But I mean the the reason Il, um Shelly get the prefer, preference is because the world championship, the reigning champion takes precedence over the diamond over league the champion. Diamond league champion. Yeah. So there was a little contention that was happening. Why um, Shelly got the buy and not Elaine, but J3 is at a very easy task. And that is that the, the reigning champion takes precedence over the Diamond League winner. So there's no surprise there. 200 meters, Sherika Jackson, Shelly and Fraser Price, Elaine Thompson era, Natalia White will be the alternate, Johan Blake, Rashid Dwyer, Akeem Bloomfield. No alternate for that team. I would suspect that most of these individuals have not the standard, hence the, there's no alternate. Surprising to see Shelly in, 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 in the 200? Yeah, for, for me, it, it, it is a surprise. Um, I really expected her just to run the 100 meters alone. I assumed that she was using the child's 200 meters as a part of her training program. Mm -hmm. But I, I guess herself and her team they are happy with what they have seen from her in the 200 meters at trials to know that she will be ready because in that 200 meters if you're not running sub 22 you're not even in the top five honestly so i'm expecting her to to be in top form for it for the 200 meters and hopefully to get on the podium also but it is it is a surprise for me because she's a 100 meter she's a 100 meter runner and she prefers the 100 all right. No brain drain. The tone, um, the, the relay reserves aren't missing. I'll be getting into that later on on the on the slide. So yeah, it's pretty straightforward with the 200. The 400 meters, you have a winner, Candice McLeod, Stephanie and McPherson, Sharoki Young in that order, Stacey and Williams is the alternate. For the men, Javon Powell, Christopher Taylor, and Nathan Allen. Many are kind of surprised that Christopher Taylor selected after he finished seventh. 
tell them what is happening, um, Fabian. All right, so for the 400 meters, the standard is a 44.9. And Christopher Taylor would have been selected because he has the standard for the World Championships. So of all the athletes that finished ahead of him, only Javon Powell had that 44.9 um, or faster standard going into the World Championships. And as such, Christopher Taylor has to go because he has the standard. Um, our men are, have been woeful in the 400 meters. The times have not been impressive. But I am hoping that these three, and, and for me, I think Nathan has looked good enough. And Powell, and we know what Chris Taylor can do. So hopefully they can pull a rabbit out the bag for us in the 400 meters. Yes, it's going to be tough though. But I mean, anything is possible. You see, once you are prepared, once you are there, anything is possible. Yes, um, somebody is asking, Shelly can be listed yet not run. That is true. She can be listed and not run. However, I think the decision would have been made before because she said that after running, she'll make the decision with her and her team. So I guess the decision is she will actually run. And the reason why they would have put her on the team. Um, let me take some comments. Uh, but can't... Okay. Taylor has the standard, yes. Uh, Richard Stevens, big up yourself. Stevens, big up yourself. Wait, CD, you are showing preference. I said what Fabian just said. Saf has her best medal winning chance in the 100. However, with the rest day, she may surprise. What are you talking about, Richard? <laughs> I am trying I am trying to figure it out as well. <laughs> I, I just said that her better event is the 100, you know. I, and I know that too. Everybody knows remember, that. Remember, Shelly PB is 21-7, you know. So <laughs> and she she's close to her PB in the 100. So 10-6 will translate to about 21-7 or 21-6, you know. So uh, all right. There, there are two over. ways brain drain. <laughs> All right, you, 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 you there's a standard that you have to make. Uh, I think for the past few seasons, there have been a leeway where the standard is concerned. Also, you can be a part of it as a result of you being top ranking in the event or top ranked in the event. So, yes, there's an expiration date to the um, qualifying standard, but... There are also other means of getting in. I don't know how long they're using this one. I mean, last year he did the Olympics, so I guess that would have been the possible reason why he would have had the standard because he went to the final. He ran a PB, I think it was 44-7 there about. 44-7, yeah. Yeah, man. So that because he would have run that time in the in the calendar year, that would have allowed him to have the standard. So yes, there's expiration date brain drain. That wouldn't that wouldn't right if if Earth though she would be taking a spot from someone that would actually run. So I think she's going to run. Yes, um that that's it. Thank you, Rocky Hill. So yes, he still has the um standard. So over to the 800 meter, Natoya Ghoul, Chris and Gordon Powell. And Adele Tracy. Adele Tracy was one of them that um, would have wanted to be a part of the team. Yes, she has gotten the nod now. So she's good to go where the eligibility is concerned. And uh, let me hasten to say she will also be doing the 1,500 meters. Navaski Anderson, the only one running the 800 meters. Talk to us there, Fabian. All right, so the 800 meters for us, the middle distance has been a problem for us for some time now. We're hoping to get better. Um, Nevaski came as a surprise to everyone, including myself this season. And I'm hoping um, his performance will sort of motivate other um, 800 meter runners to get up to um, the qualifying standard and we can um, start competing. As for Natalia Gould, she has been... For the past few seasons, she has been in and around the medals, in and around, entering with the third, the fourth, the fifth fastest time, in and around. But somehow she always do some mistake and not put together a proper race. And we see that happen again at the national trials where she was beaten. So I am hoping that she has learned from all of that. And I'm 
excited to see um Chris San Adele and um Natalia in the 800 meters because I think if Natalia put together a race, she might be able to go on the podium. Chris and um just the same. Yeah, man. Um it, it's kind of gonna be a lonely road for Navaski Anderson <laughs> over there on the men's side. He's gonna have a big task on his hand. I think he's gonna be I think he's gonna PB again. He has to be again. He, he, go, he will be going into the 143. Um, I am going to put it out there, definitely, because he was so close in that arm race that he ran at the NCAA finals. So, yeah, kind of lonely for him, but definitely. Um, Richard, I'm gonna send the link, Richard. You can you can join us. Half time, <laughs> if you can, you can join us as well. Yeah, man, because I, I do understand what Richard is saying. He said he made a recommendation to skip the 200. I uh, was not. Oh, I understand what he said. Remember, he said um, Shelly should focus on the 100 because the 200 meters would take out too much out of her. So she must focus on the 100. But what, what is it after? That is what Richard does not remember that the 100 meters will end before round one of the 200 meters. Start. Yes. So it That's what we told him. That's what we told him. So I don't know what he's trying to say again. I don't understand what Richard is saying. But Richard, there's a link. You can't you can jump on. Because you were saying that, but we, are, uh, we said that the 100 will finish before the 200. So I don't know. I don't know. So 100 meters and 110 meter hurdles. A very good event for the black, green and gold. Mm hmm I'm really looking forward to this one. So, Brittany Anderson, and by, by the way of information, the women run the 100 meter hurdles, men run the 110 meter hurdles. So, Brittany Anderson, Megan Tapper, Daniel Williams, Demisha Roswell is the alternate, Hans Parchment, Rashid Broadbell, Orlando Bennett, Damian Thomas, the alternate. I think these six athletes on uh for the uh they, they they are going to we at least i'm looking for at least two medals in this event what say you first of all i'm expecting all three ladies to be in the finals and i'm expecting all three men to be in the finals so it, it could be a case for when we look at on, on the um the female side it could be at, at us versus jamaica where all almost all at least are from us uh, and, and Jamaica, and it's the same thing for, for the men. For the, for the females, they are all running in and around the same time. 13, um, 12, 3, 4 is the fastest time this year, and they are all running 12, 3, 4, 12, 3, 5, 12, 4, 0, 12, 4, 2. So it is pretty, pretty close. So I think our Jamaican stand a very good chance of getting on the podium, our Jamaican ladies. And as for the men, um, I expect Hansi Parchment to cause another big upset on American home soil. I expect him to, to, to beat Grant and Devon Allen again this year. He's one for the big moments. I mean, he's the big man. He's calm. And this season, he looks a lot more confident this season. He looks a lot. He doesn't look like he's planning to lose anything this season. I was watching him at trials, and he looks composed and confident. I'm expecting Bradbell, if Bradbell can put together a clean race, Bradbell could cause some problems if he puts together a clean race because Bradbell has a lot of foot speed. And then the youngster, Orlando Bennett, is having the season of his life. I'm, I'm hoping he's still on cloud nine and just ride the wave all through to the final. Yeah, man, certainly. It's going to be tough, though, you know. I, hear, I see Rob Smith saying that Parchment will have to run PB. Of course. If you are gonna be the best, you have to run fast. <laughs> so I mean, I would say PB. Listen, you, you, you see these sub thirteen that they are sending, um, Rob Smith. I'm not perturbed, you know. Not at all. Not at all, you know, because you have to do it over again. Yes. And with, what with is, am, what is parchment is saving his best. Remember, you know, when the Jamaicans send out the athletes, you know, we know to allow them to peak at the right time, you know, best performance. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, certainly. Yes, um, Kirk Rowe, Levy is injured. He actually did a surgery. 
So he will not be competing um, this season. You will never see him this season. But, Coach, what I need to understand, you know, remember last year at the Tokyo Olympics, remember Grant Holloway in this season ran 12.81. Mm -hmm. Which is a hundred. He was the overwhelming and favorite. And he was the off even up until the semifinals. Nobody mm -hmm. looked like they could beat Grant. And Parchment did not PB in that race. And he beat Grant. Exactly. The, the, the fact of the matter is, I believe that Grant Holloway normally runs well without competition without, right without competition so it, once once there is competition especially listen i have seen drastic improvements from answer parchment I, I don't know if he has also changed his diet um the, the man is lean in terms of his body mass mm -hmm. um he's running faster out of the blocks he's finished that finishing that he already has is is still there so quite quite contrary to what persons are saying i think ansel is right up there in the talks of winning this um, world championship title no doubt about it richard what's up you see uh, a particular species moving around in your background in us there's a I, couple i to i to the lady oh shelling you see are you bright <laughs> yeah, coach is there says hi. It wasn't meant to see me. <laughs> Watcha. Miss Wire Wiss. She says hi. All right, she cool. Wasn't ready for the video like. Yeah, man. She, yeah, she wasn't ready for the video like. But listen, uh, you're not talking away <laughs> to this thing, you know. Um, coach is this. Coach means you're not talking away to this one, sir. Greetings and good afternoon, Captain Fabian. Always a pleasure. One love, <laughs> sir. One love. CD. You are one, and then I'm going to be going for O'Hane Blake next regarding the reggae boys under 20s. But let me deal with you, sir. You have been expressing preferential treatment to Captain Fabian, and I want to know why. Is it because I'm residing in London, England, sir? I said exactly the same thing as Fabian said when I joined you on Tuesday, when I said to you that Shelley and Fraser Price, the last thing I said, Shelley and Fraser, please, if I have to give you advice, run the 100, win the 100, and step away from the 200 meters. However, subsequently, you kindly told me the 200 meters is taking place after the 100 finishes. Now, that's a different kettle of fish to a certain degree because she will still have the runs of the, uh, of the 100 meter heat in her legs. And come the 200, even though there's a rest day, it could be a challenge. But with the rest day, because there is a rest day, it's a very nice um, balanced timetable for the 200 meters. She could have a chance of meddling. If you tell me that she's going to win it, no. Will she come second? Highly unlikely into 200 meters. Can she get a bronze instead of being pipped by the likes of Umboma or a Gabby Thomas? She's not going to run, sir. I know yeah, that. So Gabby that's why Thomas I'm thinking. Gabby Thomas not going to run. Umboma right. not run. <laughs> exactly. So that's my point. Fabian was... Fabian actually said he was surprised that Shelly Ann was entered for the 200. Fabian, am I putting words in your mouth, sir? No, you see, um, Shelly is my favorite female athlete, and I I really wanted her to run the 100 meters alone be because of her age. But um, Walcott is an excellent coach. He is with her day in, day out. So if it's a decision that they make, I will support it. Um. When you look at it, you know, Shelly does have a chance to sweep, go on the podium, and, and we can sweep that, that 200 meters. Because if she can get close to her best at 200 meters, she is in shot for um, a medal. I agree with you 110%. The question is, will she have to exert a bit too much energy? We don't know that. We'd be speculating. I think she That's will. I... I think she will. She will okay. exert a lot of energy yeah, in the world. She will. She will, Richard. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's just life of an athlete. It's just that how she recovers after. That will tell us the form and shape that she's in. Uh, well, well, absolutely, which is why Fabian, um, having said that Shelley's his favorite athlete, he was um, happy for her to concentrate all her efforts on the 100 meters. Um, it's going to be a, a busy schedule if she's going to be running the relays as well. I just want her to really shine and do the best she can. Here's a question. Do you think that Shelly Ann, you're, you're, you guys are um, on, on the ground, do you think that Shelly Ann's the kind of athlete that would be 
happy, quote unquote, to settle for a medal as opposed to going for gold? Or do you think she will actually be going for gold literally in that 200 meters um, of um, course, um, Richard, um, final? Every athlete desires to win gold. It doesn't... Do you, but do you it, really believe... I, 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 we're, we're reasoning. We're, we're, she we're will be going for gold. Because right. these are the greatest of athletes we're talking about. These are the greatest of greats. I wouldn't back Shelly Ann to win the 200. No, especially you based on the national because trials. Because of Sharika but, and Elaine. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. That's my point. But you're saying that you think that she can still go out there and believe she can beat Sharika of course, and yes. a prime of time course. Elaine thompson yes. yes. Of I course. So Every too. athlete does wow. that. Wow. Even Abby Steiner will happen. believe that she can beat them. <laughs> but Abby, Abby Steiner is different, I would say. But let us see. Let, let us see because Shelly Ann... Hold I mean, on, hold on. You can't say Abby Steiner is different, you know. Shelly has run a faster time than Abby, you know. She has a faster so be careful, Abby. Richard. Well, well, listen carefully and watch this. You can put this on record. In my opinion, come the World Championship with everyone healthy, I am confident and, but, and will be thrilled because it won't come easily. Jamaica can pick up an incredible one, two, three in the 200 meters. That would be truly, Im I don't think anyone's ever done one, two, three one, two, three, in the 100 and 200. No. Uh, it'd be really, not even the Americans. That yeah. is entirely possible. Abby Steiner's big-time experience, because she's only just come to the fore, is going to be difficult um, for her to manage. Can she sure. manage the big-time pressure, even though it's in America? We don't know. Prandini, I don't think she's going to be a, a, a factor. I think that I think that she can run fast, but I, I could back Shelly Ann to, to take her. But Prandini is a specialist. 200 meters runner. She will be just yeah, focusing yeah, yeah. on that yeah, event. Yeah. It won't be easy, but Shelly Ann... All right, hold on. Were you surprised at the, the result and the way, the manner that that 200 meters um, at the Jamaican National Trials panned out? No, I wasn't surprised. No, I wasn't surprised. The way it panned out, I say. I mean, no. Shelly no. Ann was comfortably third, Elaine comfortably second, Sharika, no. different planet. Now, based on, based on form going in, Shelly, um, Sharika was the only one that ran sub 22 going into national trials, so I didn't expect it any any other yeah. way. And based on what I saw from Sharika, and if you were watching the live stream on Coach's Desk, I, I said that she's she's going to PB in the 200 meters. I, re and I remember you said that. Six or 21.7. Yes. And I expressed surprise. I, I remember you saying that, and I expressed in the comment section that I'd be surprised if she pulled out a personal best. That was a stellar absolutely sensational run i mean it sent reverberations over here they've not even they've hardly tried to mention it they mentioned it at the Jamaica, the british national trials when dina asher smith um uh entered uh the the, the the trials over here and they mentioned that sharika has um run that world leading time um her days as world champion are absolutely numbered but sharika that was a next level performance do you think there's actually more in the tank do you think oh, she can oh. run faster than that? <laughs> yeah, man, she can. Um, wow. Remember, you know, you know, Richard, the athletes would not have peaked for this yes. championship, you know. They would not have peaked. So they have tapering work to do. That's frightening. That is, it that is frightening. Is frightening. So That's once frightening. they use Just... that two and a half weeks, three weeks to sharpen up and get a little bit more nippy, lighter, then certainly... You're going to expect them to fly. But before we move on into any other thing, um, Richard, I see a comment by Halftime TV. Big up yourself, Halftime. Devon Half Allen is yeah. in top form. I don't think so. He's running well. But that one time he dipped below... Um, 13 seconds. 13 seconds. He has not done it. Mm -hmm. so, only, only to note, though, he has been in cruise control against those that you, you would have run against after that um sub 13 so quite frankly in top form mm, he has to do it again for me to, to 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 really say that he is in top form i i would say in in mitigation to <clears throat> to half time what he may be saying and what i would agree with him i'm, I'm sure you gents might may, may concur devon allen has 
usually been a, a, a third or fourth place runner, a second at best with the occasional wins. He was the proverbial great white hope. But remember, he was beaten well. at the U.S. trials, you know, um, Rich Paul. I, I was just yes, coming yes, to that. Daniel, yes, I, yes, yes, he was the Roberts, favorite, and, and he got beaten at the U.S. Roberts trials. Him. Yes, Roberts beat him. Um, a good start. Grant Holloway um, um, waived his chance to participate. And yes, he was beaten. But in terms of this season, I would say halftime is right in that Devon is in the best form he has been in in his career. To be capable of running low 13s, the sub-13 clock-ins, to, to, to be in the conversation. There was a time that Devon Allen would not have been in the conversation. I certainly would have raised it. He would have been a contender to make a final, but he's made a jump um, prior to his um, um, NFL career. He's not leaving athletics, by the way. It, it seemed eye-opening to me that he was going to leave track and field um, when he's running so well um, to play NFL uh, football as a wide receiver. But he's not <laughs> leaving. He's going to get the money and then... He's going to return to to track and field, so I think that he's going to be in the mix. It's going to, that's going to be one of the events of the the championship, one of many. Um, the women's equivalent, the hundred meters hurdles, is going to be terrific. But Devon Allen, um, Grant Grant Holloway, don't sleep on him. Don't sleep on that brother. He he, no, he would can't. have been stung. He would have been stung by you events um, this season. So it's going to be a hot one. But Hensley Page Parchment, he is a championship performer. I love the way that guy conducts himself he's full of confidence he's not fearful of it. no man and that's going to be the mother of all uh all right uh, tournament races, see, tournament events i see brain drain talking about abistana will run faster of course every single athlete should be in a tapering period but with sherika so far ahead of abby and the others are, are are ahead of her as well i mean nobody's saying or thinking that they won't be tapering brain drain don't get it twisted. Remember, we're talking about the Jamaicans, you know. So we are not dissing Abby to say yeah. that um, she's not going to be running fast. You know what I mean? Of course, remember, that... she had a long season too. Exactly. Right. Very good. So point. Exactly. Abby so, 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 with some third legs. So, so it, it, it could be a case, um, Fabian, where she won't be able to peak again. Right, because, because she's she, deep depending deep on their program, days. remember they had indoors and then they come outdoor, so they mm -hmm. might be peaking for the NCAA. Right. So there's a difference, and because of how well she did, they went to the trials. I tell mm -hmm. you, some, I tell you something, gents. Before we, uh, well, well, the well, on, Rich, Rich Poo, Akil, Henry wants to, to to chime in on the conversation. Welcome to the show. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, thanks. Sir. Yeah, thanks for having me. Uh, I actually yeah, wanted. To correct you on something, I think Rick, um, I believe you had said that Shelly had the faster PB. It's actually Abisana actually has a faster PB than Shelly. Abby PB is twenty one seventy seven, and Shelly is twenty one seventy nine. Okay. Yeah, man. Um, who, 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 who are you correcting, sir? Is that is that CD and Fabian? <laughs> no, I believe I, it is. But go ahead, go ahead. We're dealing yeah, with well, technicality. Yeah, yeah, that, go ahead. That's fine. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> yeah, it was what I heard when I just tuned in. Um, regarding the whole conversation, were you guys talking about the 100 or the 200 or sprints in general? Well, we were at the sprint hurdles. You were at the sprint hurdles. Oh, yes. I also he heard you guys talking about um, Devon Allen. I actually have him to medal. So I think Hansu is going to win. Um, I think he's going to win gold. I think Hall I think Holloway is going to finish second. And I think Allen is going to finish third. I actually have Hansu to break the world record. I think he's going wow. to win 1274. Wow. 12 what? 1274. Wow. Ooh. For those who don't know, the world record is 1280. 80. Yeah, man. I think he's going to run 1274. I think Holloway is going to run 1286. I think Allen probably is going to run 1290. Okay. Well, hmm. yeah, man. Interesting, interesting. Yeah, yeah, interesting yeah, is one way coach. of putting it. You know, you know what is funny, coach? Um, it sounds ridiculous, but based on what I've seen from Parchment this season, I, am not, I am not going to say, Akil, it is not possible. Remember, Parchment opened this season with a blistering time, and he just did this. Back off. Mm -hmm. so I am ready. And, and the thing very control at the national trials. He did. 
And the thing about Hansa Parchment is that if you look at the when when I compare his season to Aries Merit, by the way, Hansel it, Hansel is unbeaten. He's unbeaten this year. And when you compare his season to Aries Merit's season, the similarities between the two of them is that they hurdle so cleanly. Like Hansel, like he he hurdles so and his 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 start has gotten better. His first 60 meters has improved tremendously. And that's why I think that he, you know, with that sort of confidence and the fact that he's hurdling very cleanly, I, I see him running 1274. What's, what's your take, um, Captain um, Henry, in, uh, in uh, with regards to the 200 meters and Shelley and Fraser um, running the both the 100 and 200 doubling up? The best idea all, I, or a chance? First of, all, first of all, I think she's only doing the 100. <laughs> what's I actually right? have her. I actually have her to get beat in the 100 meters. I I have Elaine to win it. Um, I think I've heard a lot of persons, um, you know, discounting Elaine because she's not at MVP. But there's one thing I've learned about athletics is that, mm -hmm. you know, even if you don't really too trust the coaching staff, you can still at least trust the athlete. And the athlete has been at a level before and they know how to, and they have the know-how to get themselves there. Um, so I genuinely believe that Elaine will be chilly. And I think Elaine will break the world record. Actually, in terms of time, I have, I have Elaine to run 12.44, um, Shelly to, sorry, 10.44, sorry, 10.44, Shelly to run 10.51, and Sherika to run 10.58. I think Shelly is going to be, I think she's going to be, this is going to be such an emotional, like an emo, it's going to be an emotional, it's going to be an emotional drain for Shelly in, in knowing that she ran 10.51 and still got silver. That I think she's going to pull out of the 200 and give the space to Natalia. That's what I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. You hear what they kept, you hear what I'm saying? It's, a, it's, a, it's fascinating listening to Jamaicans discussing because in England the, the the conversation regarding the British team and athletics and the World Athletics Championship is totally different there are levels to this thing so I'm honored to be amongst the highest level when it comes to track and field especially with the sprints so what you've just said um sir sir Henry is fascinating now I wonder well, well, what the gents well, before, think about before, what the gentlemen before, think about well, the emotional well, 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 strain Richard, Richard yes, hold on hold well, on I want to I want to I want to stick some pins there too. Yeah, man. Because <laughs> I, uh, Akil, well, mm -hmm. probably you are not saying it. However, persons might be saying that they don't trust the coach. I've I've made post videos and persons are saying that the coach is an assistant coach who has never won anything or or or, or prepare a championship athlete much less winning a title with the high school that he's at so he's getting a lot of beating so to speak so if the coach is if the coach is not good or not trusted how can the the audience or the the fans of elaine trust her when she's getting instructions from the coach That's a good point. However, I I I believe that when I genuinely believe that when you are a top athlete, when you are an athlete who has uh, represented at the highest level, I think I, I know I build, genuinely believe that coaching is important. But it's, it's it's not as important in the sense that I think all she needs is a coach's coach's eye. A coach's eye that is um who is able to discern like errors in her race that she could have improved on. Mm -hmm. Um a coach's eye who um a coach who would look at the program that she had, was on previously and probably look at things that she could have done she could have done differently in order to get a different result. I remember Elaine at the start of the year said that she was training to she was, I think she was doing the training. Or she seeks to do training that is synony synonymous to uh class one athlete at the early in the early, early in the season. 
So for me, I think that, yes, I know that coach is, coaching is very important, but I just think that, uh, I just think that her, co oh, you know, oh, oh. the emphasis that is being placed on her having, you know, that, you know, a coach that is not really yeah. recognized versus the fact that she herself is a proven champion. I don't think it's as big of a deal right. as people know. Uh, 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 well, we we'll soon give you the no floor. Problem, you can. We we'll soon give you the floor. However, <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Um, Akil. With his PlayStation um outlandish um um comments. I, I hear you, Akil. However, <laughs> many say that Shelley and Fraser Price would not do well when she when she leaves or when she left. Uh, she had left um MVP. Because I mean, Stephen Francis is the greatest. No, the coach that she went to is an or was an high, a high school coach. He produced champions at the high school level, but he has never won champs. No, that's how they chastised Elaine's coach. I was gonna say husband. However, however, Shelley's current coach has allowed her to run the fastest she has ever run. So if we are saying that coaching isn't that important and the pedigree of the coach isn't important and it's all left up to the athlete, then I will have a problem with that. Go ahead now, um, Fabian, your time. I I Akil, you can unmute your mic. This is I'm just gonna ask you three three questions and no you answer them. Um it's the best of who, who do you think uh is the best or name two of the best prince coach in world athletics? Ooh, um for me, I would say Bobby Kersey. I would say Stephen Francis. All right, stop say... right. I, I, I just want to hear you say Stephen Francis, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, so Stephen Francis is the best, one of the best sprint coach, right? Mm -hmm. Um, but Shelly left Stephen Francis, mm -hmm. right? And she's now yeah, being coached by Walcott. Did you think that Shelly could run any faster than how she ran for Stephen Francis? Yes, I think she could have. I thought she could have. I I didn't at her age. I didn't. I think she was at her limit, but she you know, coach, and the big difference. Also, mm -hmm. Sharika is now coming to the forefront, which shows that coaching is very, very, very important. It's not just on the athlete. Also, if you remember, Jahil Hyde made a coaching switch. And things look completely different for him, also. Mm -hmm. So coaching plays a very, very big part in track. I agree. So I'm I not. Agree. Gonna, I, I agree with a lot of things that you say, but mm -hmm. I agree with a lot of things also. I don't have Ilian, no problem. I don't have Ilian to beat Shelly, and and coach will remember. I, I sent. I posted a message on coach's desk. Was it last year, coach? When when we found out that Ilian was leaving MVP, like I remember the message. Remind him of the comment, what I said from months ago. And I stand by that comment today. Remind us. I don't remember it. Oh, what's up? Elaine without Stephen Francis oh, yes. did not beat Shelly. I said that <laughs> months ago, before anybody started the preparations for the season. She cannot, and that is my view, she cannot beat Shelly without a Stephen Francis. Understood. And I well, said stand by that today now i am worried about Ilian because i'm Ilian. last year she was in her own the same farm but she does not have five weeks anymore she has two last year she had five weeks between trials and olympics to get down to that 10 um 10 5. now she has three weeks which is less time and she does not have the same person who has had her for the better part of 10 years no, as an athlete, your body normally takes two to three years to adjust to a different training program, a different environment. It doesn't matter who your coach is. So that is also another reason why I'm worried. If you had said Sharika, for me, Sharika looks dangerous. Sharika looks very, very dangerous for me. 
And if I have anybody to beat Shelly in that 100, it, it would have to be Sharika, honestly. But I don't think Ilian can manage it this year. I don't think oh. Sharika. That's interesting. I mean, Jamaica, asked, you're sp we're spoilt for choice. This is an outstanding. We, we don't want to take this thing for granted, you know. We are witnessing history. Jamaica's got a great tradition in sprinting. But this is arguably as golden as it has been for Jamaican sprinting. Um, outstanding. Sharika, she has come on leaps and bounds. I mean, you know, Fred Curley is the equivalent of Sharika. You could say vice versa, but these are phenomenal. I, it, I'd, it would be a big push for me to say Sharika would beat Shelley in the 100 in Eugene Oregon, though. I, I, I've not pictured that in my head. I picture Shelley being the winner and only Elaine could stop her. Elaine, I must say, I don't know... Uh, Fabian, you made a good point with the contrast to um, the last time that they met in, in a big championship, um, namely the Olympics. I think the time between is very important. And I, I don't know, I'm, I'm looking at the body language of Elaine thompson Hera and the facial expressions. Um, she's, she's good at keeping her uh, cards close to her chest. But have you noticed that there's a... I yes, I, I, of... I have been watching for some weeks now, and that is a part of the reason why I'm concerned. Because those ahead, are the things that I look for in an athlete. Her face says that she's worried. Her words say something else, but her whole body language says that she is worried. And she's saying that she will be ready. It seems like she's trying to convince herself or motivate herself to say that, hey, remember, you are Olympic champion. You are going to be ready. But for, I am concerned. Her body language does not say it. And in, in contrast, for, for parchment, parchment body language says, I am ready. Yeah, but... Um, you know, I, to... I, was, I was speaking to an athlete earlier today. And the athlete brought up that point, um, Fabian. The athlete was sharing that um, they don't like the demeanor. And the words that comes from Elaine's mouth, that would suggest that she is worried meant. There's, there's a mental part of her, her race, so to speak, that she's not confident with. And Honest. a former athlete said that to me. And based on you saying it now, then it, it, is, it is telling us that a lot of people might be looking on and seeing some of the same things that... Even the, 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 the way of complaining about the race and so forth, persons look into those things and they are taking away a lot of stuff from it. And he's saying that it sounds like a defeated Elaine. Now, will she put her mind or mental back together for Eugene? I, I would think so. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I would think so. So I, I'm not worried, but persons would have observed these things. Mm -hmm. You understand? So, yeah. Can, can I make the point why, why I thought that Shelly was going to do much better? Because in 2015, Veronica Campbell-Brown went into the, one, the, the World Championships, so 100 and the 200. Um, not much was expected of her. Maybe it was for her to probably make finals um, in both events, but not much was expected of her. She used the rounds to get herself into shape. And in the final, she finished fourth, just missing the medals, running 1091. And in the final, she ran one of the most, she, she reminded us that she's arguably one of the best curve runners in history when she was in lane two and literally literally beat Elaine and Daphne Skippers off the curve to get that brand in 2197. <clears throat> My point is, is that when you are a proven champion, when you're someone who has been there and done that, and who, you know, who would have known what it takes to get your body to that place where it once was, with the exception of injury, I'm not going to, I'm going to back you. That's what I mean. And for me, I think the reason I give her 10, 1044 and, and Shelly 1051 is because of the age. 
the age gap. That's the only reason I give. If it was 31, 31 Shelley and 30 Elaine, Shelley would have, I'd have given Shelley the full, full, my full backing. But the 35 and the 30, that's, that's why Elaine is at uh, 1044 and Shelley is at 1051. I understand the argument about Sharika as well. And, and the reason I have Sharika at 1058 is because this is her second official season in the 100. Hence why I gave her 1058. But I understand the argument. Understand the, I understand the argument as to whether or not she, um, Sharika is dangerous and probably even win gold. In fact, I wouldn't mind if she won gold because she has been getting a lot of bronze medals. And uh, I would really, I wouldn't mind seeing her getting gold in 100. But for me, I, I think those were the, the factors that I took into consideration when I had predict, when I had thought about the times that uh, all three of them would have run in the final. Akil, do you play PlayStation by any chance? Rob Smith was in no, earlier. No, I don't. Those, those, those times are interesting, um, outlandish, and I'm quoting. Um, are, are, are you feeling that you're speculating or do you believe? I mean, you know, when it comes to championships, people remember the victories, the performances, not necessarily the times. This could be one of the hottest 100 meter battles that we've seen <clears throat> for many years. Uh, many a year going through the rounds do you think and feel confident that come the final given the tapering and given the preparation do you feel that with the pressure on them um they can still produce these sensational times or would it be yes. more a case of getting the victory and waiting for the diamond league events to really shine i mean looking left and right i can imagine that these ladies just want to get ahead of each other um and we, we may we may not have ideal conditions for that is, no. world record time. There are so many factors that go into it. It's going to be a fascinating race. I'm looking to see how people handle it psychologically and physically. Um, the times will come as they may. What we're looking no. for is who's going to be victorious, who's going to be the runner-up, and who will make the podium with the all Sorans um, doing what they can, uh, maybe in pursuit of these outstanding athletes. They may be running themselves into personal best themselves speak sir speak yeah but that's that's the point you just said it a while ago all three athletes are going to do what they need to do in order to win and i think that is what's going to push them to those fast times all well, of you... them all of them are going all of them right now are training and preparing themselves to do whatever it takes in order to win if it's a hurricane if it's a hurricane um headwind in oregon like a negative 2.3, you better believe it that they are going to race. Even if it's a 10-8, the race is going to be won by. They're going to ensure that they prepare themselves in a way where them have to beat, you know, either of the two. And that's why, and, and I think that mentality is going to push all three of them towards those times. That's what I think. Because if you look at, if you look at the, the 2009 world championship final with um usain bolt tyson gay and asafa powell usain bolt in usain bolt ran 9.58 because he wanted to ensure that he ran that race in such a way that he was never going to get beaten that he was never going to get beaten. and that is and that is and, and it's mm. because of that why i think shelly Elaine and Sharika are going to run those times. Actually, you're missing a very important part about um, Bold running 9.58. Remember, just a year earlier, he ran 9.69 while celebrating over the last 10 meters. So we all know he could go faster. So that is, that is you have to make sure you put that in when you're using that you see in Bold um, reference because he celebrated for 10 meters while running 9.69. So we all knew that he, he could have gone faster. No, I, I know the three ladies are going to do run fast times, but for those times for me, I'm, I'm somebody like this. You have to show me, show me. And I believe in progression. And for me right now, it is very hard for Alien to jump from 10.7 and jump to 10.4, especially without Stephen Francis. So that is that is that is my take on it. Now, Shelly, 
who has consistently run tens. She has run four 100 meter this season and three of them, she run 10 six. Are they about? So, which tells me that she is ready to run 10 five or even faster. So, if you're looking on current form, for me, Shelly's looks to be in the best form. That does not mean she's going to win. My favorite race for Shelly is the 2013 World Championships. She did not enter as favorite any at all. And in the final, she did not get her bullet start. But guess what happened? Shelly and Fraser Price won. So history is also on Shelly's side. From 2009 World Championships, Shelly and Fraser Price has, oh, she has failed to win only two of those 100 meter titles from 2009. Wait, wait, quick question. 2013 was when she ran a 1072? 2013 was when Carmen Gajeta beat her the year before and had the fast 10, um, I think 1069 time and she came in and um, she won 1077. No, man. That makes it up because 1072, that start was devastating. That 1072 was in Moscow, man. You Check. sure it's not, you sure it's not 2012? No, 2013, she did not win. World Champs was in 2013. You can check it on YouTube. Check it on YouTube. She did not get a good start and she ran from behind. I remember that race vividly. But what I'm saying is only two, she never win. She did not win two. I think it was 2011 and 2017. And I think she was injured and pregnant. Well, injured and injured, I can say, because she still had the two injuries when she was pregnant. So history is on Shelly and Fraser's side for the world championships. It's an interesting one, you know. I wanted to ask you, gents, who do you think handles pressure <clears throat> the best? Or in this instance, because there may be a slight, slight nuance with this year and the way it's panned out so far, who can handle the pressure best? It was noticeable in the Tokyo Olympics that following the national trials, trials uh, where Shelly shone, come the uh, Olympics, did you see come the final, the distance? I mean, you know, Elaine comprehensively defeated uh, 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 Shelly Ann. And that was very interesting, who in herself um, beat Sharika comfortably. So when you talk about the athletes pushing each other, trying to ensure that they beat each other, sometimes the margins can be fine, but sometimes they can be large. So um, it, it's not a given that those times, I would be very surprised if those those times or even close to those times that you're suggesting a key of, um, a, a, a run in uh, Eugene <clears throat> Oregon. All right, let me chime in now. For me, <laughs> I would love for one of the ladies to break the record. But for some reason, I think it's very, very tight, that record. I don't know. I think Jamaica possibly will get one, two, three again. But certainly, record is going to be very difficult. You understand? So that is where I, 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 I put the lid on it. So let's get back to the um, team. Four hurdles. We have Cheyenne, Geneve, Rochelle Clayton, Andron at night, who was going to win that race after, but she eventually fell. She's the alternate. On the men's side, Jahil Hyde, Kemar Moet, Sean Rowe. What is our our chance in 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 these events? Neil Poin, Neil Poin, um, best bet, four hundred meter hurdles. Um... Geneve Russell, is that the best that we've got? Or Candice? No, not it's Candice. Who's who who won the, the, the 400 meters trials? Geneve. Geneve, Geneve Russell. Very difficult. Very difficult. She's the best chance, and it might be a bronze, but she would have to run arguably the well, she'd have to run the race of her life to, to get that. Right, right about now, Sydney, uh Sydney McLaughlin and uh Femke Bull are tearing things up. There's Shamia Little. Uh, it's a, it's a hot event. It's a hot event, and and ironically, the the ones at the very front. So anything can happen. People can trip over a hurdle. I think the bronze medal might be up for grabs, but there are a few um, European um, um, hurdlers who have been running personal bests, uh, and that that might be a, a bun fight for the bronze. But 
given all things being considered, um, it's going to be very hard to make the podium there for any Jamaican athletes. The, the men's, nothing doing, in my opinion. Um, if anyone makes a semi final, great. A final, Geneva Russell can make a final. I think finalist is the best we can hope for, in my opinion. Anything else? Outstanding performances. But we'll, we'll wait and see. What do you think? Can I go? Yeah, yeah. Man. All three women makes the final. For me, um, Jaheen, I'm not so sure. Jahi will have to run sub 40 to make that final. Has to. Um, Akil, you have, have, have something playing in the background? Sorry, it's my father talking in the background. My apologies. Okay. okay. Yeah, man. Um, yeah. And you can't talk back to him, father, you know. You don't know that. My <laughs> lord, my lord. <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Uh, so, yes, all three women make the final. Um, Jahil, I'm not so sure he's going to make the final, but if he does, he has to run sub 48 to make that final. Because right now, uh, when I think about the com when I think about the competitive competitors, um, I think about the three Americans who are in sub 48 shape. I think about Erasmus from Estonia. I think about Capella from Turkey, and we talk about uh, McMaster, Samba, uh, Warholm, and the Santos. That's already nine. Right, Benjamin. No, I already called the three Americans. Okay, That's already indeed, nine indeed. persons. Spoil um, for choice. Spoil for choice. Yeah, man. He's going to have to. I even me. Yeah, he has to run. He has, and he has to run so far to eat well to make that final. Possibly close or possibly close or he has to break the national record. That's what the, I think. And the thing is, he may have burnt his fuel. He might have burnt out a lot of his fuel just to make the final so as i said if he makes if he makes the final that will have been an outstanding uh achievement um no matter what the itinerary is uh that will take a lot out of him but he, he's a very talented um athlete and um as you said he's um changed coaches and um looks a, a far um better and improved athlete um fabian coach minzy what say you i think he's going to have a way with his father if we don't see him again rest in peace <laughs> All right, so I think everybody. I think I can agree with everybody. For for me, Jahil and he said. Hold that on, gentlemen. I'm um, sorry about that. Give me a second. I'll be back shortly. <laughs> All right. So for me, Jahil looks to be the best option that we have to make the final. I think if Jahil is going to make the final, he will have to PB. For me. Depending on the luck of the draw, he might get an easy semi-final and enter as sneaking as one of the fastest losers. But so far from what I have seen from Jahil, um, I think if we get a finalist from the men, that is good. For the females, it, it depends on if Dalila runs. Because if Dalila runs, that would push Janiv down to a fourth or a fifth. Um, I think... Johnny is in and around fourth place, third place, depending on how clean uh, the other females run their races. And I mean, it's hurdles, so anything is possible. But I expect um, at least two out of the three to be in the finals. And once you're in the finals, anything is possible. Remember, we had Anjanet to win the trials, national trials. And what happened? She fell down. Remember, Jahil fell down last year at the Olympics. So it's, it's an obstacle race. So once you get into the finals, anything um, is possible. But I don't see any of the males um, getting a medal. I think Johnny has a good chance of medaling. But I also think Sydney will break that record again. I think that record is going again in um, at World Championships this year. I think she's going to break the record. Again, this I this is somebody that I, I admire a lot in track and field. She she's not somebody of many words and she's not she's not into the whole hype and all of this. She just gets the job done. And that is what you need. This girl break the world record and they even make a post on social media when she finished. Say she break the world record. That is how much she is about her business. And that is a, as serious as you can get for an athlete. And I expect her to break the record again. And by the way, just some information for, for the track fans out there. Her coach 
says that after this year's World Championships, she will be running the flat 400 next year to go and target that record. And with her training discipline and the mindset that she has, I don't put it past her at all. So she'll be running the flat four next season. I heard, I, I heard this, I heard this, and um, one can only <clears throat> salute and commend her willingness to to test and challenge herself beyond her uh, 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 normal or preferred mm -hmm. thus far event. I think that would be a push to um, uh, challenge for the world record. If you can actually win medals, um, if you can win, that would be outstanding. But to medal um, in the 400 flat would be out outstanding. It's interesting, you know, because the 400 meters hurdles, it's an interesting one. I think because the standards has been pushed up, um, particularly at the highest level, um, with the likes of Dele Mohammed and 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 McCoughlin and and Sydney um, Femke Ball uh, and Femke Ball, yeah, absolutely. Who's you know she just enjoys her running and she's just a, a super fast runner. Don't think she's fast enough to take on Sydney, but she's 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 ample fast. And in fact, my goodness me, as you said, if Delilah Dele Mohammed is fit, those three, that's a lockout. That's a lockout. But I think that you don't you don't see as many falls in the 400 meters hurdles um as you may have once did i think the standards so including technical ability as well as physical and stamina ability has been raised so athletes are determined um to regularly complete races and to get try to go for personal best and to be competitive trying to shave things off and tripping over the barriers that's not part of their um training regime at all yeah i mean <clears throat> We have seen improvements in the sport, especially in the four hurdles for both these these four hundred meter four hundred meter hurdles at least they have they are running some four hundred flat times because that fifty one forty one is no joke. We don't have barriers. That's and, faster than some some men run the flat. And 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 and, and Warholm, he is a different monster. However, he's not. 100%. So is there a way that somebody can beat him at World Champs this year? Because I'm hearing he's not 100%. Mm -hmm. He was injured. He's not um 100%. It's, and, but, it's but, really unfortunate. It's really unfortunate that um, Carsten has picked up the injury. Um, we, we wish him well. I've not heard if he's a definite starter. Um, for the World Championships. But yeah, we are, we're not sure. We're not sure either. Yeah. Um, so I beg to differ. Come in again. Come in. Come in. Glad to see Car you. You survived. Yeah, Carson will be on fire. He'll like literally. He'll be using the runs to get into shape. Because I, I saw so I follow him on Instagram and Carson will be fine. I wouldn't be surprised if Carson probably will run a, a forty-seven low or a forty-six high in the heats. <laughs> Come on. Unless his, unless his team states otherwise, I think Carson will be fine. Yeah, man. So you think he's going to be reco recovering in time to defend? Of course. I think, listen to me, unless his team comes out and says that he can't run, first of all, I don't think he's going to run at Worlds knowing that he's going to lose. That's one. So if he runs at Worlds, he probably thinks that he's going to win. I think he's going to use the rounds to get himself into shape. So I wouldn't be surprised if I said like all a 46, a 46 high in the in the first round, and then I did a 46, you know, in the semifinals. I wouldn't be surprised if I see it. But yeah, um, I think he'll be fine. Look out for that Brazilian. Look out for that who's Santos. allegedly in his twenties. Allegedly, Santos. yes. Allegedly in his twenties. That man looks like um. Well, anyway, look out for Santos. Um, hey, Brazil's got a couple of um outstanding athletes they've got a, a pole voter of course the olympic um champion uh, tiago and santos who is who is coming on leaps and bounds and the way he's running he definitely fancies um not only podiuming but i think he wants to leave it on the track and if someone beats him good on them but he's going he's going for um i think gold i think he's going for gold i think carsten is going to be a big push for him to return suddenly not suddenly but to return um, for the world championships, I don't have him down as favorite, other than the fact that he's the world record holder. But I wouldn't put excess pressure on him 
to expect him to push his body so soon um, after having come back because we've not been seeing him run since the injury um, um, to, to see if he can actually um, medal. Ry Benjamin's going to have a lot of pressure, but I think that brother is going to leave leave it on the track. And I think he's got plenty of competition with, with Santos. I think it's going to be a very, very, very fast race. And um, alas, I don't think the um, Jamaican representatives will be um, in the shape of Jahil able to, to meddle in that event. But um, we, we can but hope. What other events have we got, um, um, uh, um, Coach? Yes, we have the high jump, Lamar, Distin, Kimberly, Williamson. They will be entering that. None for the men. Long jump, Shani's Porter alone on the female side. Tajay Gill, Wayne Pinnock on the male side. Um, triple jump, Shanika Ricketts, Kimberly Williams, Akila Smith, Jordan Scott, the former, uh, is it, um, what's that school near again? Campion. Um, shot put, Daniel Thomas Dodd, Logica Cameron, none for the men. Discuss, Samantha, all for the women. Men, Travis Smichael, Fed, Frederick Dakers, Chad Wright. All right, the four by 100 meters, Shelly, Sherika, Kemba, Elaine Thomas era, Brianna Williams, Ramona Burchell. Men, Yohan Blake, Oblique Civil, Akeem Blake, Jelani Walker, Kemar Bailey Cole, Conroy Jones. What say you on that um, lineup? What a, what a way you pass you, you pass the um field events halftime TV halftime did you see that halftime did you see that apparently um there were certain I didn't pass it I read that. them God of mercy so I'm, that, I'm, that's did you not comment on it yeah Richard I want to comment on it you know. can if I want, want to comment, comment you can go ahead thank, okay. <laughs> thank, 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 thank you thank you thank you coaches halftime 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 before, TV before before halftime before TV speak, are you watching. Richard, yes, before sir. you speak, Richard, yes, of sir. course we know that we are a, 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 a sprint-loving um, nation. And the, the field events oftentimes get overlooked. It's, it's, it's nothing new. It is just what it is. Even athletes, it's so difficult to get them to do the field events because they think that the Blue Ribbon events are the events that are more highlighted. You get more money for the 100, of course, than, than for the um, field events. So, of course, we have to big up the Plantis as well. He broke the world record again. That man is on fire. So we know what is happening in the field event. But from a Jamaican standpoint, it, it is not really talked about. Hence the reason I just read the names. You know what I mean? Um, there's a little bit of debate in the chat about the relaying of the stadium track that was done in 2021 so that is information yes it was done in 2021 and brain drain had asked a question about reserves being used oftentimes Mo well for most part all the athletes who go as reserved aren't basically used but going to a championship you have to have um reserve only a mad person will take a team without a reserve even if they go there for go eat sleep and drink but you need the reserves um go ahead tiddlywinks well shanika ricketts and um, kimberly williams i think they have i'm telling you they have been representing jamaica really really well outstandingly well i may i, I may say i'm at commonwealth level but particularly at the world and Olympic level. And these two athletes um, have a chance of making the podium. Of course, you've got the outstanding Rojas. Outstanding, outstanding, one of the world's superstar athletes. But in the clash and pursuit of silver and bronze, those two athletes are worth looking for. They will um, expect nothing less than making the finals. And once in the finals, they've got every chance of adding to Jamaica's medal hall. So it's a very clogged and tight space when it comes to the um, sprinting events for Jamaica, but give an honorary mention to those two, and more than an honorary mention, because they are worth talking about in the discussions for the medals hall 
push. And Thomas Dodd, not in the in the form that she was in before. That will be difficult in the in the women's shot put. But um, we wish her well. She's representing. And Frederick Dakers, um, a world class discus um, operator, um, not in the the, the 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 best of form, but he's in the team. And if he's in the team, there's a chance. And and Smickle, quality athlete. Um, we'll be looking for um, personal bests and maybe more than that. So we wish our field eventers all the very best um, <clears throat> going forward, sir. That's what I wanted to say. Can I comment on the field event? Yeah. Um, so I was smiling because when you said that um, Daniel Thomas, um, Daniel, uh, Daniel, Daniel Thomas, is Daniel Williams or Daniel Thomas? Thomas Dodd, Daniel Thomas yeah, Dodd. Thomas, uh, yeah. Dodd, yeah. When you said that she's not in similar shape, she's in similar shape. It's just that the standard of, the, the the women's shot put has gone it's it's, it's gone leaps and bones like if you're not yeah. trying 20 you're, you're, you're not even smelling the medals um she has just thrown 1950 she's thrown 1955 this year um which is close to her personal best so she's within that same bracket but she's gonna have to in order for her to really challenge that medal she's probably gonna have to look 20 Probably between 20 meters to 20, 20 meters 50. Yeah, that would be a huge PB. That's a big push. It's a big, it's in a big short push. terms, that's a big, it's a big, yeah. big ass. Big ass. Uh, regarding um, Shanika Ricketts, no, Shanika Ricketts will won. Well, she will have to work hard to try to break up that um, trio. So last year at the Olympics, um, I think Rojas, Rojas training camp, Ro Rojas training camp, they actually swept the medals um it um at the olympics so shanika ricketts would have to split that up along with um there are some very good americans um coming up jasmine moore uh um ketura i don't remember i can't but i don't want to butcher her last name on here ketura she's she's really doing very well as well um so it's going to be tough she's probably going to need um, she's going to need 15 meters I don't think 14 meters 90 is going to be safe for her or 40 meters 80 because she at the Olympics she jumped 40 meters 84. Yes, and she missed out on a medal. She's going to need 15 meters. No, it's the best time for her to jump it. As for Rojas, the question is can Rojas go 16 meters? He's, he's a, she? She's ahead of the game. She's ahead of the game. I mean, that, yeah. there's so much to, in the triple jump for women. There's, there's a there's so much improvement that can be made, but she's the one who's making the, the major improvements in terms of pushing the boundaries of women's triple jumping and the others yeah, are, are a, way, a fair ways behind. Um, it would be a, a shock of all shocks if she didn't capture gold. But um, listen, that bronze, that bronze is up for grabs and um, you never know, it could be a high 14s um, that, 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 that claims a, a podium place. Um, but, um, I would be shocked if it was a high 14. I actually think 15, you have to jump 15 to, to get a um, podium. Although not a lot of persons have gone over 15, of course. I, I get that. But I I think you have to jump 15 to get that med to be on that podium. Um, because there's too much persons who are capable of jumping high 14s. Uh, regarding the discos, huh? the men's discos. Man, they're throwing seventies for fun now. <laughs> um, I, I did you see the Stockholm get... meeting? Did you see the Stockholm meeting? Yes, I saw it. I think we can oh. get at least two medalists. I think we can get two medalists in the finals, and anything can happen afterwards. Uh, two medalists regarding the high jump. I'm very excited because I think Lamar Distin can make the final, and I think she could challenge for a medal. She has jumped one meters 97. And I honestly think that if she jumps one meters 97 and maybe get a little pep in her step and probably jump like a one meters 99 or a two meters, she can get a medal. I'm sure that you've been, if you've not been playing PlayStation or you're not on first time with PlayStation, I think you could do very well on the PlayStation, you know. No. Um, you would be, you'd be very good, you know. You'd be very good. And I can't I, play I, video I, games I, to save my life. <laughs> my goodness me. You're very optimistic, and I, I like that. I, I, I like that. I don't, I must confess, I don't know anything about 
the high jumper. But to say 197 and at a push two meters for this lady who I've not heard of and I've been following track and field for a fair few years um quite intently, um, that 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 would be going that would be going some because the Europeans they uh, bag of trouble. The Ukrainians, um, uh, there's a, just a bag of the Australians. They've got a bag of talented athletes. Can I ask the panel, by the way? Um, can I ask? You said that. Well, on, no, 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 comment on it for it really, them man. Oh, no, yeah. we are going to comment on it really. The, 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 the relays are there. The, uh, we're going to get to the relays. <laughs> I just wanted to ask this final question to wrap up the field events, and it's a very pertinent question. Before we deal with the real, I mean, this is a bugger. Listen, we can see the name of them people there, you know. It's just a bugger queue of people that's up. Regarding the field events, can you tell me if you said the bag of money, the most of the money and the, the bright lights is where the 100 meters, uh, 200 the sprints are concerned? But it's sometimes I've wondered, for example, the 800 meter male runner, um, what's his name? Lorenzo, not Lorenzo, Le, Ke, Navak, Navaki, Navasti, Navasti. Uh, why? do some Jamaican athletes not specialize in some of the events where they can easily become a star in Jamaica and maybe beyond by specializing in the events like the high jump, um, maybe the long jump. That's where Gail, I'm looking for, I was so looking forward to Gail. I hope he's fit. When you can, you can shine and become Jamaican number one in the long jump um, or a high jump um, or the discus, wouldn't you be set for potential stardom, given that Jamaicans are really um, athletic and have the ability. I mean, look at um, Kershawn Walcott um, and Anderson Peters. The ability to throw the javelin, bang! If they've got it, you're a superstar. Why don't Jamaicans um, spread 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 their wings and try other other events? Can I try? Of course. Um... I'm a novice this conversation, but for me, I think number one is that you have to respect the event. I don't think, I, I, I honestly, with, with the exception of the sprints, I don't think that people go into track and field with the sole purpose of just money making. I think there are, yes, it, yes, it's a big part of it, but I think that persons are persons are committed in track and field to a particular event because of the respect that they have for that event for some person it's love for others it's respect probably respect because their coach so their coach said to them that hey you may not be good at this event but i think you can be good at this one so that's what i think i think it's i think it's the um persons to a particular event because it they respect it and uh, you know until persons or until individuals grow in their respect and appreciation for other events, I think we will always have individuals glamoring for the sprints. That's just my take. Um, all right, Richard, I'm gonna use a football example to um, answer your question. All right, now I coach at the primary school level, both track and football. I have never had a defender come to trials never i've never had a defender or a goalkeeper come to trials football tryouts never in my life i have never had a 400 meter runner come to track tryouts i've never had an 800 meter runner come to track tryouts i've never had a long jump or a high jumper come to track tryouts because at that age all they see is the UCN Bolt, the Shelly and Fraser Press, the Ilian Thompson, the Sherika Jackson, the Yuan Blake. That's all they see. That is the exciting event. That is what they want to be in at that young age. So that is a reason for it. They all want to run that. For me, I make 400 meter runners and I make defenders. I, as a coach, I just have to look at them and say, okay, I just allow them and answer that one is a defender. That one would be better. To run the 400 that one be better to 800 and then it takes some time for me to get them to love the event because it's not one of the popular events so they have i have to get them to love it i i always say sprinters are, are a dime a dozen in jamaica we can find sprinters in a, every single parish every corner of the island we can find sprinters but to find good quality middle distance runners to find good quality field events athletes it is very hard so it, it, the hard part is to convince them mentally to say, hey, 
take this up. For somebody who, who, who does it at champs or who prepares for champs, you still get the same points whether you win 100 meters or you win long jump. You get the same points, you get the same medal. Yes, the same. They don't have a different gold medal for 100 meters than, than for 800 meters. And it's the same medal. All so right. The hard part is to get them because what they are seeing on TV, what they are seeing on the internet, I mean, and, and, and we as track fans, track analysts, are to be blamed too. Because for the past 10 or so years or 12 years, UCN Bolt has been the biggest name in track and field. Why? You realize the sprinters, whoever is dominating sprinting events, normally get more attention than those who are running. In, um, and Brian Jane might beat me for this one. Sidney McLaughlin break the, the 400 hurdles record. What was the, who was the talk of American trials? The sprinter, Shakari. So again, we as track fans also, we have a part to play in it because we normally give more attention to the shorter distances and it is affecting the younger generation. So it, it takes some time for us to get to them saying, hey, a gold medal is a gold medal. And if your coach think that you'd be better off doing the long jump or better suited doing the high jump, just trust your coach and go and get the attention that you need and go and come back with a gold medal. So I think we all have a part to play in it. Yeah, but I believe that um, in terms of how we are set up, I think we mainly um, we are mainly inclined to sprinting. If you look at a, a, a at an individual or a child playing cricket, you watch how they run up um, to bowl the ball, and you, you see the athletic ability in terms of sprinting rather than a. a, a an 800 meter runner because we shy away from it so much sprinting is just in our dna i would mm -hmm. say so it's kind of difficult to persuade them to go otherwise now if you're in the in the system and you have the expert eyes you can lead them based on timing because the clock is the biggest judge in track and field and the the distance also would have been a judge but the clock is the biggest judge and if they are not doing particular times in in particular events then that's how you'd assist them in making the switch but most times you look at if you look at sports day students running all the sports day set up you hardly see a 800 meter you hardly see a field event everybody wants to run 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 math race is set up to run you carry them you carry them the paper will give them they do it it's to get the math right, but at the same time, your ability to run plays a significant role in you winning. So it, it's all about the culture and, and, and what is done throughout um, the, the early stages of development, why people are so inclined to mainly the sprints rather than the other, which I believe the other events are very good alternates, right? You look at the high jump, the long jump. If you can't sprint at a particular speed, you can take up the um, long long jump. It takes some amount of sprinting to the to 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 reach the, the, the sand pit. Technique is important, yes. High jump is one of them. Um sprint hurdles. If you're not the fastest 100 meter boy or girl, but sometimes it's the onus is on the coach now to, to see where they're at. You're not going to make it in the one and the two. Why not try the hurdles? So it, it's basically up to the coaches and the, the, the persons in charge of these events that really assist in pushing the event that needs to be pushed. And the 100 meter, them, them event, the sprinting events, them get the most push in Jamaica. And it did not start from just the other day. In recent past, ancient past, it happened. Herb McKinley, them man, they are sprinting them though. Michael Manley, them do sprinting. So it's not like a we started. So our culture. I'm way back. It's, it's the culture coach. Yeah, our man. Our is a sprinting. As a, we, 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 we generate good sprinters. It's in our DNA. Everybody mm -hmm. can sprint. And, but as I say, it's for the coach to see and, and build at least. For me, all of my sprinters... All of my sprinters do long jump. That's how I find my jumpers. My sprinters, mm -hmm. them do long jump. All of them. Yeah. So that is how I get my long jumpers. Um, but 
it will always be that way for us because we are a sprinting nation. Definitely. You guys ready to talk for over, for over yeah, one? Yeah, the relays now. Can we see the time are going on? The place right. the sun times are coming now. No, so <laughs> oh. well, 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 hold your horses because I have one that you guys will, will think is PlayStation time. So I have two predictions. <clears throat> hold on, before we go, see, so a mm -hmm. very good if, um, information here. Rob Smith, resources also matter. High jump and other field yeah. events require equipment. Most schools don't have even have a truck. So that also contribute to it. Um, Pagan, yeah, understand that we can diversify. The diversification is taking place. You have we're doing well in discourse we're doing well in in high jump long jump so yes it is happening but at the end of the day the 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 the, 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 the top events will always be the sprints go ahead yeah thank you all right so i have two two teams so the first team is the same team as tokyo brenna williams um brenna williams elaine shelley and sharika reason for that team continuity um continuing from where we were last year from tokyo into this year right so that's why i have that that's that's my first team right the other team now uh is shelly elaine kemba and sharika um, yeah, man, you're telling us the order that you plan to put them yeah that's, that's the order team. that's the order oh, yeah that's the order oh yes okay yeah, so Shelly, Elaine, Kemba, and Il and Sharika. The first one is Brianna to Elaine to Shelly to Sharika, just at the Tokyo Olympics. Um, so why I have uh, why I have um Shelly, um the problem with the problem with the second team is that I don't know, I don't I don't see a Kemba Nelson as just being a okay, you you switch, you don't have um Kemba is faster than Brianna, then you just switch. Kemba on the first leg and out for Brianna. That's for, for me. I think uh, I think Kemba would serve uh, better on the third leg if they were using that quartet. That for me. Um, for the second quartet of Shelly to Alien to Kemba to Sharika, I have them running 3998. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. That's why I said that you guys are going to see the PlayStation time. I had them, I have them running 39.98. No, let me explain. Let me explain. My reasoning is if I'm expecting Elaine to run 10.44, I expect all three Jamaicans to run sub 10.6. If I expect them all to run sub 10.6, um, well, except for Kemba. The fact that they have such speed in their speed in their legs, they I think they have the that would be the they will have the resources or the leg speed to run sub 40. Bearing in mind that they would have had how much how much rounds in their legs, so they can't so it would take out any speed that they would have. But I am banking one on the challenge of the Americans because I think the Americans are gonna break their national. I think they're gonna break the. I think they're gonna go below forty-eight. They have the legs to run below forty-eight, because if you look at their team, well, they may not have the chemistry, but they have the legs. You look at their team; they have Jefferson, they have Abigail Steiner, who can either run the second leg or the third leg. They have Alia Hobbs, and they have Twanisha Terry. If they want to mix it up a bit, they can probably bring in a Shakari. No, they're not bringing Shakari. <laughs> Sorry, Brandon. No problem. They you love trouble, you know, CD. You love trouble, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bring up them name there. You know, easy. Bring in a tomorrow clock, maybe. With, uh, yeah, maybe. or tomorrow, uh, tomorrow clock, or Jenna Prandidi. By the way, I'm a Shakira fan. But yeah, um, so yeah, so they, I think the USA are going to run. If like if the button changes are good and and wonderful, I think the Americans are gonna run sub forty point eight, um, and uh, and also the crowd as well. I think the crowd and the the, uh, the challenge from the Americans, I think we'll push them towards running 39.98. Yes, I know it's wishful thinking, but, you know, there is promise to the wishful thinking. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Everything I blessed. Like, Everything I blessed. feel like I want to go next because this 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 39 something that, that, that Akil talking about, it must be in a dream. 
<laughs> by the way, by the way, I said it on Ray Stick. Okay. And I said it. I Girl, commented yeah. on Ray Stick. So this is not the only <laughs> platform. I am not going to forget it. You know. I am. I am always gonna remember that. Is it? Where is it? Thirty nine eight. No man. Thirty nine ninety eight. Right. Thirty nine nine. Okay. So thirty nine nine. All right. So for, I have a fast time. I I have them to break the record, but I have them to break that at at forty point six. That's 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 my time, and I think that is realistic. I had them to break the record from last year, but that that first changeover between um, Brianna and Elaine messed it up, and I don't think that um, Elaine should have been on the second leg. I understand the reasoning behind it, but based off really experience and such, the reason um, that changeover was very close was because Elaine collected the baton in her right hand. Now, for those of you who don't know, for the relays, it's a right, left, right, left. And that's how it has to be. So the, the, if the, the starter starts with the baton in his, in his or her right hand, then the second leg, left hand, third leg, right hand. Elaine has been running third legs in the past. And so at that time, muscle memory kicks in and she extended her right hand and that shape i think that is what cost us the world record last year now as it relates to the top the four athletes that will be running for me kemba has to run the final now kemba and brianna are very similar in the way how they run i'm hearing you saying you would put kemba on the third leg kemba has a brilliant start kemba is known for having a very good start I put so it on the first. Are pretty much equal as it relates to starting. So swapping out Brianna for Kemba for me is a like for like switch right there. Does she have a good start around the curve? Does she have a good start around Kemba? Is a brilliant starter. Now the only reason why Kemba anchored the team are I think she on the back stretch for NCAA. And she on the back stretch for Oregon the because she's the fastest on the team. And normally I put your fastest runner on the back stretch because as a coach, I can manipulate it and make them run 120. But I don't want to get in that. You can make sure run 120 out of the 400 meter on the back stretch, which is the longest leg in the four by one. And that is probably the reason why they gave Elaine the back stretch in Tokyo to give her the longest leg. But because of the button changes, it cost us the, the world record for me. So my order for the finals would be Kemba Nelson to Shelly and Fraser Price. To Elaine Thompson and then Sharika and Anchor. That is how I, I wish they had set it up. If they had set it up like that last year, we would have broken the record. So with that lineup, I think we can run 40.6. They have all gotten faster. Um, and Sharika is the big, 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 big it factor in, in them running 40.6. Sharika has gotten a lot faster. So I expect them to break the record as for the the um the heats brianna will come in and do well in the heats um just the same but for the finals i don't i would not i'm not gonna change out and it's just one year so take it keeping brianna in for continuity it's just it's just um one year they have just run one race together so it's not like they have been running for three or four or five seasons it's just one race that they have run run um the all for have run together so taking out brianna would not affect um continuity at all i've got to make a move in a i'm gonna make a move in a few minutes um the, the missus has got some ironing for service and morning so she needs to have the space and um i will give her that space but i would agree with you fabian um as long as jamaica get the batter around i pray they get the baton around kemba electrifying start she might be the least experienced in this particular jamaican lineup so we don't want her um, setting off and, and and making any kind of mistake. So I think the safest bet and a wise bet would be to have someone like Kemba running the opening leg and then leaving it to the more experienced part, um, um, athletes to take the baton and ensure that it gets around. Once it gets around, the record can go in its own sweet time. If they get it around well, that record goes. I don't know how much time they have for practice. This is one of the interesting things. In England, in London, um, in Britain, one of the big things, trust me, Britain targets relay events for medals. And they'll pick it up by any means necessary. If other people drop the baton and have poor exchanges, they are more than happy to come in 
um, and, and, and pick up the scraps. But what's interesting, um, when you get to the men's relay, it's interesting. They have a lot of time and they, they get a lot of time outside the events and during the events to practice, ostensibly because the British men are not fast enough to make the semi-finals and finals. So they've got more time to work on their relay techniques and baton exchanges. The likes of America and Jamaica, you've literally got, we've literally got the fastest athletes, male and female. So it's almost a case of they get together, they've been competing against each other, focusing on their own event. How much time do they get to practice the exchanges? Look at America. They've had some shocking recent results over the um, recent years, um, given that they've got some of the fastest men are going. And for one reason or the other, Carl Lewis has said it's a disgrace. They don't work on the techniques, the exchanges, the tactical um, and technical aspects of relays, and it costs them. So we don't want Jamaica to be going down that particular line. How much chance do they actually have to, to practice um, um, <coughs> excuse me, on the Jamaican... Not a lot. Not a lot of time. It's, it's not, not a lot Richard, of time. But Champs prepares our, our Jamaican at least. That's why we normally do well at relays because it's That's the right. same parties that we use from um, from boys and girls high school champs that day. That's Once right. you know the basics of collecting a baton, um, the rest of it is really just muscle memory and then matching up the speed with, with, with the check marks and all of that with the exchange zone. Respect, respect. All well, right, um, on the men's side. Very interesting, very interesting. Let me just quickly go first and then listen to you um, before being farewell. How much time have you got coaches this? You like we to have do about these things under 14 minutes, 14 minutes. That's right, yes, a two hour special as usual for the athletics. Respect. Um, The four by one. I tell you, I was looking at it this morning. Taking a good look at Kiel. You can come in with your verdict here because I like your optimism. I'm a Hold on, Richard, I break up one. Opportunity. As day follows night, I am pleased. Uh oh. I'm breaking up. I'm breaking up. Coach's desk, can you hear me? Yeah, we're here now. But some like some sound in your background, too. Matthew, turn off that something. Turn, mute it for a second, son. Mute it for a second. The men's 4 by one relay, I think they can medal. They have a definite, definite, definite great opportunity to medal. I wasn't expecting anything like this before. But after the championships, when you see that relay lineup, that squad, my goodness me, I'd be disappointed if they don't medal. What say you? You want me to go first before the PlayStation, man? <laughs> but, uh, for, for, for me, I'm a, I am really excited about the, the male 4 by one The first time we can say that men genuinely have a shot at not only winning a medal, the men have a genuine shot at winning the 4 by ones I'm not going to go as far as um, mentioning times and all of that. The men have a genuine shot at winning the 4 by ones Our biggest challenge will come from the U.S., but U.S. always seem to have some problems with getting the butter on our own. Britain, our biggest challenge Britain, comes Britain. from. from the, I'm not worried. I'm not even worried about um, um Britain because it's the first time in some years that we have four runners, four our four legs are running in and around ten flat and faster. It's the first time that we have we have, we have had this in some time. We have we have three sub ten persons and the other one running ten flat. They are about ten or they are about, and with our experience passing buttons from that tender age, I think we can we can pull a rabbit out the hat and win that four by one. It's not the speed. It's not the speed. It's not the speed. No, it's, it's, it's not. It's, it's the not technique. about technique. Remember, speed is very important. You, know, but you cannot win the race without the baton. Without the stick, it makes no sense. So. Getting the stick around is not up. okay. So you can have four individual fast legs. So you can have the top four in the 100 meters and still lose a relay. You can have the four fastest runners and still lose a relay because the four fastest runners don't necessarily translate to the fastest relay team. 
because, because you know, it has a lot to do with chemistry. It's, but it's how you pass the baton quickly. Chemistry, synergy, all and all of these things. All of those things. Precision. So, with that, run thing, the track. Run the track, CD. Go ahead. Go ahead. So you're sending yeah, me so, up. You know I'm fine, fettle, sir. Go so ahead. That being said, I think our men have a very big shot at winning that four by one. I have them in the medals. Mm -hmm. Sure. But we have a, we have an outside shot at winning the four by ones. The, the, I agree. The, the, the challenge I have with, with our four by one is Akeem, Blake. That's, that's, the only, that's the only See. problem. And when it, when you have a, a novice, what I do, I I tend to have them handling the baton once. Yep. Starting. Will he be able to give us a good start? He normally doesn't do well on the start. Back stretch. So if we put him back stretch, will he be able to handle the baton twice? Be an incoming or an outgoing runner? These are the challenges that I would be having. Not to say they can't be rectified, but I'm just calling it as it is. Young Blake season, Kemar Bailey Cole season, um oblique civil season as well because he ran with the team at the uh, olympics so these individuals are able to handle but i don't even remember akim blake running at champs and that's what i was coming and collecting to. you know that's what, what i mean? was coming to man so, and ask what what is wrong with akim blake akim blake went to merlin at the high so they did not have a quality four by one team running at champs against the, the KCs and the Calabars and the San Diego's. So it's not like he has that years of experience collecting and passing batons. And I agree with coach. When I have a, a novice on my team, one time you're handling all you need so to do. So is that an ankle pass. leg or, or, or first leg? Uh, well, you um, guys are. Yeah, hold on. Gary Powell, I saw you make you come in, um, Akil. Gary Powell, I'm telling you this based off experience, years. Of experience, I say no more. Go go ahead, Akil. Well, well, you guys are the coaches, so you know best than I. But for me, um, yes, he's he doesn't have the experience, but guess what? He has the mm -hmm. luxury, or luxury of knowing that he has three members from the same track club mm -hmm. that is a part of the relay pool. Um, why I said that? You guys, I said let me make the point, and then you guys can revolt. All right, so so yeah, so he has the partners in Johan Blake and Kemar Bailey Cole. In terms of my team and my setup, I'm going to go for the experience. So for me, this is the sticky. This is very sticky. So I would have him on the back stretch because I think he has amazing top end speed. I have Johan Blake on third leg, and I have Oblique on the ankle leg. I have Oblique on the ankle leg. The problem for me now is figuring out who is going to be on that first leg to hand over to Akeem Blake. Because for me, yes, we have 10 all runners, but my problem is that do we have persons who are those 10 all runners very good coming around the curve? That is my biggest issue. Um, and as, as, as annoying as this may sound, I, I would have to give I'd probably have to give Kimar Bailey. No, 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 no. What Kimar Bailey could, he's not a traditional good starter. That would make no sense. But all right, so my order would be Walker to Baker. Sorry, not Baker. My Walker to um, Akeem Blake to Yuan Blake and Public. Yeah, but you guys are the coach. Gents, I'm gonna have to um bid yep. you, I'm gonna have to bid you farewell. Um, yeah, um and no problem. listen to the rest of the something else. A quick yeah, word man, on the four sir. by four men, four by four men outside chance, in my opinion, of a more a podium, a bag of 45 men running. That's a bronze medal chance to fight out for the medal. Fourth or fifth, definitely make the final. Four by four women, bonified as dear fellows night. They have to get a medal. Um, not gold, but silver. They should be the favourites for silver. It's a definite medal for Jamaica. A wonderful tradition in the 4 by 4 for the women. Big time um, team there. And I'm expecting big things with Stephanie and, and Ranesha, Rashi, Ranesha um, and the team. We wish them the very best. CD, 
All right, right. Big up, up yourself, Richie. But I'm going to let you off this time, sir. Big up yourself, sir. Respect yeah, the man. show. Gents, Fabian, Akil, full respect. Uh, Hit the like, are you going to get let off, button. Bill? Hey. <laughs> I'll see you soon. I'll, I'll see you soon. Son, tell him, sir, one, one of you. Tell him how bad your daddy is. Did I tell him? No. If all right, Richard. All right, all right, sir. Coach, who, who is Gary? Gary, hold on, 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 because... Gary, I tell me the same challenge me any day. Gary, come on the panel. Or you can call in. Because I put it to you that the young man is an experience. He's not experience. He has been training. He has been running, focusing on the 100 meters. Seeing? And then you put him in a, in a, in a relay pool. It is going to be challenging. I, I ask you no question. I know that that will happen. You know, really a very, very, very important to Jamaica. And he's going to be under pressure situation. What you tell me, sir? Listen to me. The man have no experience. And I put it to you that if I were there at the coach, me I look seriously for putting him on the anchor or what. Not to say that he won't be able to learn it because you have some people um, on the... For, for their calisthenics, development is quicker. You know what I mean? And they will learn quicker. But based on him not having any experience, Bridget, trust me, it's going to be difficult not to say he won't be able to learn it. So if he goes on the box stretch, it's not going to be a, a, an issue, but he might have challenges in the race. I, I now ask you that. See the number they are run from the bottom of the screen. The number is on the, number is on the screen. Number it's run from a long time. Yanka, I agree with I agree with your coach. I I agree two hundred four hundred percent based on my experience also. Here, see the number they are run at the bottom of the <laughs> screen are eight seven six four seven four three five three eight. Also, I think there was a um a commenter who was asking me if I thought that the USA woman was going to break there world record a national record yeah i think they're gonna break the current world record i think they have i think they have the capabilities i'm talking about the women not the men I'm talking about the women having the capabilities of breaking the no world record but i think they're gonna come second that's why i, I said okay. national record. that's what they wanted to clear up because yeah that's what they, i yeah, they that's... understand yeah yeah man um coach for me akim blake has to go on ankle leg for me conrad starting for me Conrad Jones starting for me. Oblique Seville on the second leg. Um, if my memory serves me right, I think Oblique ran the second leg for Calabar um, and Taylor had moved to the anchor leg. Probably that that for that once. For that last, for once, right. Yeah. But you know, the, the second leg and the anchor leg, they I are see mirrored. On them same them. thing. So for me, Conrad to Oblique, to Johan, and then all Akim has to do is just collect that button from a very experienced Johan Blake and just bring the team across the line. So, 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 Jeremy and Dawkins, the that me as a man, novice runners find it difficult to find it easy to pass, but are they receiving a problem? Collecting the problem, and and, and so we and, tend to ask those people to handle the button once. And as I said before, yeah. in can go on the anchor or. For I me, start. I'd put him to start, but he's not one of the best starters, so it has to be some sort of gambling that will take place. My... It, it is rough, coach, because as we say, you see, you see when nerves and everything look look at what happened, and, and I'm talking to here. Look at what happened with um Ilian Thompson, very experienced. What happened with Ilian? She's not accustomed to running the box stretch. Exactly. What, what happened? She collected the button in her right hand. Very, very experienced runner. And the incoming here. runner, once they see one hand and a button that, you better put it in one hand. No, 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 time to joke. I zone are done fast. Hey, but, 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 Fabian, let me drive home the point. USA has always had very good runners, but they ever mess up. Why? Because they're not used to button exchange like how we used to it. You understand? Them the use to the bat nation. US have very good runners over the years. And they, 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 they were one, they they one time, 
There was one time Usain Bolt said to, to them, hey, I'm going to ramp on my button, you know, when I think it was a, 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 a mix-up between Asafa and somebody on the back stretch. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, me don't know. But listen to me. Really is very, very important to Jamaica. Don't play with the relay. Don't play with the button. So, the coach is there. They are going to have their hand full. With 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 that with that with that with Akeem Blake. And with for Akeem Akeem, Blake. Just to clarify for Akil, um, he's saying that he has three training partners on the team. How often do they do relays? They not do no relay they practice, do brother. Do relays unless they not they do no relay practice. They probably do it for one week. And and, and, and they never run a Gibson relays. Are they are mile relays? They don't that do is, relays. That is my point. My opinion. Yes, the man no experience in passing relay. No. He can is 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 his kinetic intelligence might allow him to 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 con collect and pass very well. Yeah, but yeah. I have to work with what I know now. So me view check and feel. Me can't talk about what I'm going to do. I have to talk but, about what I'm going to do what, what he has done or what he never do. Coach, another thing, you know, he can't be doing it in training, you know. But when him go out there and him see the, the thousands of people on the track. Um and, and and at that point, when most memory will kick in, he will make an I'm not saying that he will, but there's a high possibility. I, I would really love if they could assemble that team and run some relays right now. Run some relays. Hold on, let me see if I gear this a call. Inside my call yeah. or not. Is this Gary? No, sir, I'm not gear this. This is a different person. This is a coach Tippy Bridget. Huh? Where's Say that again. Oh, see, Gary, Gary knock you off for the call. Mr. Powell, big up yourself. Yeah, Thanks call. for calling. Yeah, man, we know what's you, man. What say you? All right. All right. Talking about the. Um, mm -hmm. What do you want? By the way, by the way, that? by the way, you say you're going to challenge me in the bar, so you can't come and ask me, by the way. Are you say you're gonna challenge me? What contention? No man, are you say you're gonna challenge me? What contention do you have with what I say or said? Are you mm -hmm. say you're gonna challenge me? So you have to bring argument. You can't ask me what me want. No, Mr. Start, start, with, start with anything you want me to, to, to clarify what I say. No, are you say you have are you say you challenge me? What 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 do you come to challenge? Ah, uh, first of all, yeah, the, the four by four men not getting no medal. Mm -hmm. No medal, they're not getting. And we can bet enough on that. I will, I will send you to your program where you want to distribute a mm hundred -hmm. dollars if they get a medal, right? You are some person. Mm -hmm. All right, if they get a medal, mark more than that. Check, you have my number. You can call me and say, yo, make sure you send the, the money so we can you can put it wherever you want to put it. Mm -hmm. The men, Akeem Blake, Akeem Blake. When you come on to four by one, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact, let me, let me touch on the, the, the longest leg you that talk about. Mm -hmm. There is no longer leg, it's all about how you think with it. Because if you look at last year Olympic side, mm -hmm. Brianna ran the longest leg. Why? Because Ilian left early. So Brianna but had Il to run the longest leg, even though Ilian was on the box stretch. If you re if you look at the race, Brianna was the one running down Ilian to catch her. So she ran a longer leg than Elaine. But yeah, explain something different. Yeah, explain the distance that they cover in as opposed to which leg is the longer leg. But that's so what there's I'm a difference. Sure, you said there is. That's what I'm trying to show you. Said there is no longer leg because it's how you think with it. If Elaine ran left, I mean left early, then Brianna gonna run the longer leg. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? She'll cover if, more distance. If, if, She'll cover more right, distance. So She's not how, running the longer leg. How, but that's how you can think. That's how you get the longer leg. Because it's, it's where you get the baton. You can if if Brianna is a is a say she's a strong 200 meter runner, and you want to think of it and let she hold the baton longer, then you, then you, you, you extend the zone. That's what you do in relay. But if you don't want to extend the zone, they each then then with the starter. If, you, if the, the, the box just set the button um, quick or early, then the box just going to run the longer leg. But if you want the person to run the box just to extend the zone and get it further in the zone, 
then they're not running the longer leg. You get what I remember, the, 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 the zone is extended now. So you can extend the zone if you want to. You don't have to take it in that 10, that look at 10, 10, um, what do you call it now? The, 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 the four, before you, you they used like, to have like the acceleration zone, right? And now, now the, the, which is a is 10 extended. meter, now they extend right. everything to 30 meters, right? So that's what I'm saying. So you can extend the zone. So there is not actually no longer leg on the back strip, it's just where you take the baton on the back strip. Because if if Ilian did a run left the button, trust me, then break the record. But because she run left the button, no, Brianna had the back, the, 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 she was running the longer leg, Ilian ran a shorter leg than Brianna. If you look at the race, you will see that Il, um, Ilian ran a shorter leg than Brianna. Now, let's go to, the, to, to Akeem. Not because he did not have the experience at Samson 4x1. It's all about practice. Look at the Chinese. Look at the Japanese. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So you use one part mm-hmm. of my argument, Mr. Powell. Remember I said enough. He is mm-hmm. the one with the least amount of experience because him no run at champs, but it's depending on the uh is his level of kinetic intelligence that will determine it, how quick he will learn and adjust. So you're saying the guys are stupid guys. Huh? <laughs> so the guy is stupid. Yeah, you try to say the guy the guy won't be able to to, 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 to pick up the, 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 the But the Jesus, I'm not saying man stupid, but you have some people. I'm not saying stupid, but you have some people who are not inclined to relay a caller that will have struggles. Yes, but, but, because it don't matter them a world beater, they don't not. used to it. But what I'm saying is not because he's not used to it, that means he can't learn it. But I did not because, say that. But him still had a novice. Where I say, where I say, but I hear guys talking about the crowd and all of these stuff. As long as you, as long as you go, they Listen. were prepared. All right, you're missing now. This is baton exchange that they've been so, practicing. Coach, ask him about the Indians. You're missing, Mr. Powell. The thing mm-hmm. is that, him are the least experienced person on the team. He's mm-hmm. going to have challenges. So I'd want to allow him to handle the baton once. So is that him start or him, him, him end? It might be a challenge with him start. It might be a challenge with him end. So the coaches, them are going to have them hand full. It doesn't matter how you put it. The amount of years, they are say, 30 odd years in a track and field, the man is the least no, experienced. Well, no. But listen, man, 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 listen right. the man with the least experience are going to give a problem for the team. You no matter how you put it. <laughs> Remember, the man had trained for 100 and 200. When in his training session, he pick up a button and collect and receive. Collect and pass. No, no time. Does he train by himself? Huh? He does not. He does does he ma- train by himself? Come on. How, how that fit in I'm, the conversation? I'm just, I'm just trying to show you. Sir. Because he's not trained by himself. He, 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 he must bleed everything, right? But he, he must bleed the button that, exchange in a training. But I'm just saying, it doesn't take that much of a time to get the thing done. It's all about the steps where I give somebody, right? It's all and about the, the aptitude it. of the individual. That's why I may say, if him kinetic intelligence is there, he will get it, and that would be good. But if it right. is not but, the, so I that, cannot, so, well, on a caller, so I cannot, hold on, there. hold on. <laughs> I cannot speak on what is to come. I have to speak on what he has not done, which is an amount of button exchange. Um, but my I, my I, biggest I concern. I, I see your point. Mm-hmm. I am not saying he's not a novice when he come on to four by one. I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying not because the champs team he didn't have a four by one at champs and all of that. It's all about what they're going to practice. And I agree because they have to practice. But it plays a part of how quick or how smooth you'll take the button. Because as as as, as Fabian said, muscle memory, and you should know, as muscle memory is very important in any sport. 
if he does not, if his hand does not, and that's the reason why Elaine probably took it in her right hand because her muscle memory telling her she's lined up in the relay. She normally does the um the third leg, so she got collect in her right hand. That's why the right hand because of what muscle memory. Uh, I think my biggest issue when it comes on to the I hear your arguments and you guys arguments yeah, are very. Sorry, on, I heard, on, Akil. Hey man, I know that, and you guys are very valid. Points are very valid. My yeah, issue with Akil. Yeah, yeah. You not hear me? Yeah, if call us, I'm not here. Oh, sorry about it's that. Very low. Yeah, I hear him now. Go ahead, Akil. Yeah, yeah man. Good. Yeah, my my issue is that like when it comes on to Akil Blake one, I. I really don't want him to run anchor because on anchor for USA, if we have aspirations to win goal, I would rather see an oblique Seville knowing his stopping speed and acceleration. I'd rather say um an oblique Seville against whoever the Americans put on that anchor leg. Because even if uh, America has a leg up on us, I trust I I, I more trust oblique to to, do, to to be successful in that chase than Akeem. The problem with uh, Putting Akeem on the first leg is that when you put Akeem on the first leg, who do you put for the second and who do you put for the third? And as I said before, you put um you, 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 you even if you put oblique and you want on the second and the third, yeah, oblique and you want second and third, you know, who are you going to make anchor? And is that person strong enough to carry out an anchor where if USA slightly ahead of us or if any country slightly ahead of us they can literally catch that person that is my and that's why i put him on that second leg mm -hmm. and and for me you know akil if 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 akim blake goes out there and practice and he does it effortlessly that is very good that tells me that his kinetic intelligence is very good you understand so i lo i would love that but because I have not seen it, seen it yet, I have to work with what he has not done. And that's how I view track and field. When we give our predictions true. going into, into events, we talk about what the athletes would have done before. Mm -hmm. And not what about they will be doing. You no know, future tense. We have to talk about what they would have done past tense. You understand? So on that premise, Mr. Powell, hence the reason why I... Still hold strong to my point. Fabian, you wanted to say something. Yeah, um, I just wanted to ask you as a coach, how often have you had a, a relay team made, drilled, ready for competition, and at the last minute, you have to substitute somebody out and put in a new person? How often does, almost, give me an, an estimate, one out of ten, or one, one to ten, how often does the new person get it right away? All right, they, they don't they don't really get it right you now. But the you thing about really right the thing way. about really you know, Fabian, I don't only practice four people. No, I don't practice by everybody on my team do it practice really by the way. For me, yeah, everybody Six of them have to practice. Once you're a sprinter, you do really practice everybody. Say if I yeah. sprinters, exactly. eight of them, and the, for me, they practice with both hands because I can adjust the legs anytime. They practice with both hands. So what what we're saying, you know, in you know, a gear is not that um Akin will not be able to do it. For me, I don't reason tracks with a lot of feelings. I reason tracks based off what I am currently seeing and what you have done. I have not seen enough of Akim to be confident enough based on my experience of making relays to mm -hmm. go in and show him in the middle of the race. I am not saying it, it cannot work. But for me, I would not throw him in the middle of the race. Plus, 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 um, Fabian, they will have limited of limited time to practice to because practice. they will be running the 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 the, the, the flat the individual one. events. Yes, they're running the you flat understand? so, so they, they will have, have limited time. time. But like I said before, it would be good, it would be good for us to see him making that adjustment because it will all well praying. for us i am praying coach because if 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 he does make that adjustment he would fit perfectly for that second leg if 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 he does learn that fast he would fit perfectly for that, for that, for that um for that second leg i am a i don't even want to talk, i don't even want to say it so i'm not going to say it but it has to be 
Conroy has, has run on, on um, Stets related teams before, so he would have more experience there uh, with the four by ones. Um, should in case he need to go and anchor our third leg. And for Akil, your point with, with relays, I, I have a different view for relays. Um, Jamaicans like to put their fastest runner on the anchor leg. I don't, I don't do that because in I have a saying, me no run down people. So I'm not gonna wait until you get in front of me if you try and run it down. So for me, I want to lead from the first leg. That doesn't mean I'm gonna put my fastest runner at the start, you know. I normally set my relays, my fastest starter always start. My fastest run around the curve because I practice these things to find it out. Um, I give them 100 meters to run on the curve and all of that to see. So that is how I normally do my relays. So I don't normally put the fastest person on the um on the anchor leg. My fastest person in a straight line normally runs the back stretch. And I normally want somebody who is very strong to anchor. Like, for instance, I love Sharika and Anka because of her 400 strength. Because if mm -hmm. I build a lead and give to Sharika, sure. I can count probably only one person who can get back at Sharika. And probably that's Elaine. Yeah, and Elaine is already on my team. That's true. You understand? Yeah, and that's yeah. part, part of the reason why, why um, Bolt, not just only being the fastest, running the Anka leg too. Because how much person can, if Bolt get a lead and you're done, I guess what for me what I take into consideration is um you were saying well, hold on Akil since since you're on the panel let, let us hear if if, if Mr. Paul have, have anything to say. Mr. Paul. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. When it comes to relay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna give you an example. Yes. When you talk about somebody strong on the anchor leg, look at Maurice Green on the anchor leg, right? Mm -hmm. We all know Maurice Green, right? You remember when England England beat them? Could he catch what's his name? I think his name was Blake as well mm -hmm. from England. Could he catch him? How fast was that guy? You see the you see what I'm saying? Yeah, man. Yes, sometimes yes, but, it's not but, about it's not about uh -huh. um who can catch who. It's a really yeah, man. That's uh, true. There are other things involved because when you look at Maurice, you nobody know nobody would everybody would say yo if he if he gets it as a uh, 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 like anywhere. In front of Maurice, Maurice gonna catch it. But mm -hmm. Maurice could couldn't catch him going down there. Because and that it, guy was a ten a ten point something guy. He wasn't a nine something guy. Because the thing about Why really nine eight? the thing about it, you know, you know, Mr. Paul. The problem is that when you have some people that are really beast, once you put a baton in their hand, they are a different specimen. And remember, and that's remember right. they get mm. also a running start. <laughs> So that even make it worse. Yes, but you have some people can catch. Like if you look at a Shelly, mm -hmm. Shelly. When, when you look at that, I forgot the, which which um diamond league was. And I think it was Nita, one of those in British school. Got the bat in front of Shelly, mm -hmm. and Shelly catch her in no time. Maurice Green was a nine point something guy. While the 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 the, 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 the guy Blake, I think he I think he went to to our school in Jamaica as well. But he he, he ran for England. He yeah, was. He just got to. Not, not even that. It wasn't that far in front of um, uh, Maurice Green, and Maurice couldn't catch him going down there. No matter. And, and Maurice, as I'm saying, Maurice was a nine eight guy, and this guy's a ten point old guy or a ten one guy. But and Maurice couldn't catch him. But that in relay, that is pretty close, still enough. That, that is close. Um, that no, is, but I'm that saying, is I'm close saying, in relay, man. I'm, so it's yeah, gonna be I'm difficult saying, to catch him. Anybody would say. No, but anybody would say if you give the button to that guy. And Maurice is behind him. Maurice is gonna catch it. Just looking at, just looking at it. Not, not saying, not, not looking at the race, but uh -huh. just like how we are on the panel. I was talking. Uh -huh. If you say, if it's, it's like bolt. If you say you give the button, just say, reach, reach, right? You say bolt gonna run fast. So, so Maurice running at nine eight. This guy running at ten or ten one, and he couldn't catch him. But we know, just looking at, just predict, doing prediction. We would say no, Maurice gonna catch him with no problem. But when you look at the race, he couldn't catch him. And he didn't get it that far in front of him. They were right there. And the guy held off Maurice going down there. Anybody would look at the race and say, Maurice catching him. But he couldn't pass him. So when you look at a relay, you know, sometimes we say, oh, this guy should be on the anchor leg. Sometimes you have to look at who's the better turn runner. Mm -hmm. That is why I didn't want, I, I wouldn't say put Elaine on the back stretch. 
last year. I would say put Ilian on the third leg mm-hmm. because she's a better turn runner than Shelly. And uh, Shelly run if the you street. Look at, if you look at the re- if you, and Shelly run the box If you mm-hmm. look at the, the, the US girl, it, um, Shelly up on, on, on the third leg. But there, there, are, a lot of, the, there, there are a lot of variables doing you know, because even when you look at Nesta Carter, Nesta Carter is a very good starter, but he still runs it off the curve. But but he was a he was the best starter we had, and he wasn't a good two hundred meter runner. So you see, it, it, right? But he could run the turn. He could yeah. run the turn. That's the difference. So if you look at if you look at Prater, where would you put Prater? Fr- people say, why would you put Prater on the box stretch? I was, I was, I was just, no man, me, and me and I put, put him on the box stretch, man. I was just, him around. No, but I'm saying a lot of people, a lot of people would say you can't put Prater on the box stretch because Blake faster than him, and 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 um, and Bolt faster than him. A lot of people would say, yeah, how, how would you put Prater on the box stretch when Blake faster and and, and, and no, Bolt but yes, 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 Bolt, Bolt, Bolt need time to 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 get into gear, you know. Mm-hmm. So you would want to put him on the box stretch. No, but I'm looking at a lot, how a lot of people would view it. They would say, free, free, without the world record race and without mm-hmm. all of you. Mm-hmm. If you just have the four guys, a lot of people would say, oh, yeah. they're not putting both. They would not put um, um, uh, Freta on the box stretch. That's, that's what I'm saying. Because he was the slowest runner. Out of all of them, probably Freta was the slowest one. Mm-hmm. Interjection. Um, um, course, you know why? You telling me, you know, looking at it, a lot of people wouldn't put him there. That, that, that is true. That is true. That is true. The reasoning of Jerry. These are persons who don't really look look down to the details of how you put people on, on, on which leg. Yeah, so no, you're right. Just, just, just looking at it with the bare eye, you, 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 you're you onto something. Go ahead. Just, to, yeah, just to correct Sir Gary, yeah, sorry that, about that. that, that was Shelly actually extended the lead on that third leg. <laughs> General Prandini never ate her up. Like she yeah. extended the lead on the third leg. Because remember, you know, the fumbling would have uh, between Elaine and Brenda would have caused some <clears throat> put a slowed us down at quite a bit. USA would have probably would have uh, cro- probably had a pass a button before us and so forth. So Shelly actually extended the lead. Another thing as well, um, Mr. Gunner, uh when you said about 2013, it wasn't 2013 it's, because it, Shelly... it, was, it wasn't it wasn't 2013, it was 2012 Olympic Games. Yeah, after, it wasn't. Um, yeah, it was 2012 Olympic Games. Yeah, yeah man. Um, but, uh, yeah, continue. Sorry about I'm just saying, I'm just making the point about Mike Alfreda that he made. Looking at the team names, Mike Alfreda, nobody would have thought Mike Alfreda would run after the second leg. No, Mike Alfreda is what you call a really expert. Mike Alfreda is excellent at collecting. Mike Alfreda really collect and pass the button like a flash. And so you want that person in the middle of your relief. You collect that button and pass it in. A, so he might not have the foot speed as the other second leg runners, you know. But by the time the first leg runner reach around there and say reach, Michael Freta collect the button and gone long time. And he will make that up by just part. It's like hurdling. You, you, you might have a faster foot speed, but the hurdlers will kill you over the hurdles. So Michael Freta, and I'm looking forward to my... That's the only hope that I have for Akeem Blake because Mike Alfreda is one of his coaches. Mm. So I am hoping that Mike Alfreda can impart some of that knowledge onto Akeem yeah. in time for the World um, Championships. Mm-hmm. I, I, I see my opinion making a point that he would have had making the relay team in the back of his mind. Of course he would have had. But at the forefront of his mind would have been to make the team first. But just to, just to um, sit I, I disagree with you in terms of the freight having the leg speed because I don't think there are a lot of persons who has run faster backstretch, backstretch in history than Michael Freighter. I, I don't think there are no, much. I'm not talking about releasing, I'm talking about oh, oh. 100 speed. Oh, oh, oh. You might not have the flat 100 times like everybody else, but when it comes on to release, it's a oh, different yes. Michael Freighter. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, man, because I, you, you know, so I'm dealing with um, Justin Gatlin on a box stretch. Gatlin on the box stretch. Yeah, man. Well, well, to be honest, it was it was a, Gatlin actually kind of beat him on that box stretch, still, you know. It yeah, was you and Blake. Not, 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 not by much, not by much. Expect. Not by far. Yeah, not by far. It there was, was actually you and Blake. He closed it. There was a gap, but he closed it. You and Blake was the one who destroyed Tyson Gay. No man, Nesta did beat yeah, Collins. Yeah, and did the damage on that on that on that yeah. Road road. yeah, man. Nesta did actually beat Collins, man. I think um 
Um, there's the, the first leg for USA was Collins or, or whatever I'm named. And Vanessa did beat him in the first leg, man. I think Gatling was the one who pulled away from Freighter. Not by much. We expected much, but not by much. He pulled away from Freighter, and then you and Blake did the damage on Tyson Gay. All right. That's a good way to bring the show to an end. <laughs> so, any final so, um, on, thoughts so, you want so, to share, so, Mr. Paul? Before you, before you... Before you end it, yeah, man. Um, how do you see the four by four getting a medal? That's what I wanted. Our oh, I men four by four. How do you see them getting a medal? It's gonna be difficult for us, man. So, but no, not... I'm saying I heard somebody say they're gonna get a medal. I'm saying who are they gonna beat? Who, which which are the teams they're gonna beat to get to get those medals? Um, you have Great Britain, you have Poland, and yeah, some Poland, other teams. Belgium, that are... ne Netherlands as well. Netherlands. Um, Dutch team, yeah. There was oh, yeah. third for me. There was struggle to get third for me. But it's to be, be honest, you know, we have we actually have unless unless all, all of our guys gonna be gonna turn um four by four B because yeah, that's all running four to five. No, that's what I was gonna make the point. No man, but when the Poland team are run, them are run no four to four and no four to three, brother. Me, me, me are, tell you, know. are the, are the you have which some. Which one of our guys that, that B? No, you would yeah, we have it's, it's not a case where we have a, you have a beast in a Gary. It's just a case where all of them running 45 low. And when I put that together, they might be very fast. Yeah, but yeah. Them, split, <laughs> them, split them split, them split are going to be different. Split are going to be different from, from, from that's why I say, remember, yeah. in a relay, you get a standing start. So you have to run faster. But, but they they understand, far if they understand all of that, you know. I'm just looking at them struggling to run. I was I was watching the trial and I'm looking at them struggling. So but unless here, they do something drastic and a turn around, gonna turn around from now on and the championship. I don't want to them getting a medal. But Gary, it's gonna be, it's gonna be tough. It's gonna be tough. I, I can agree with that. It's gonna be tough. But coach, it, can I it's make going this to point? be tough, but it's not impossible. U.S. running away. No, it's not impossible. It's it's I a fight for second and third. But coach, can I make a point though to inspire confidence? We actually on this on this relay team, we actually have some very good relay runners on this team. Mm -hmm. So like like Javon Francis, you put him in a relay, he will run one. fast. Different person. Kobe, that, was, that, when Kobe, that was before. That was before his injury. No, we don't no. know. We don't know now. Kobe, you know. Kobe, when Kobe, when Kobe run relays, you know, he's a different animal, and I, and Bartley as well. Um, I think Bartley, the, I mean, twenty in the Olympics, I think did he run the mixed relays, and he did so well. He ran the mixed relays and he ran the four by fours, and he did really well. So we actually have some very good relay runners in the four by four. Um, my problem is the first leg, as always. <laughs> Who is going so to as the run like Oh, him, 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 him melt again. You hear me? Look at uh, US. US would be the runaway team. Yeah. And it's anybody's game for second and third. It is. Jamaica, Africa surprised me. Trust me. I even though me that love me, but the Africa surprised me. Find a four by four. Yeah, man. All right. So, calling in, 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 sir, 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 Powell. And we're glad we come, sorry, yeah, man, we're, cl we're, we're glad we come to an understanding. We just had try the 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 coach are muted. All right, coach seems like he's having some internet trouble. Coach, you're not we're not hearing you. Yeah, we're not hearing you. Your mic mute, we're not hearing anything at all. Yeah, we're not hearing anything at all. 
Now yeah. one day if my owner freeze. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now one day if my owner freeze. But yeah. Yeah, man, we are close off the show now. And we are going to ask you gentlemen to give your final thoughts. Just 30 seconds, starting with Akil. All right. Thanks for having me. Uh, mixed release. I think we are, I think it's going to be tough to get a medal, but I think the team that gave us the best chance of getting a medal, uh, I have Anti Anthony Cox, first leg, um, Antoinette Knight, second leg, Stacey and Williams, third, and then Javon to finish us off. Uh, yeah, I think we're going to have to run 3 minutes 09 to get a medal. And our right, national cool. record is 3 minutes 10, yeah. Fabian. Uh, just to finish, um, it's always a pleasure being here, you know, speaking with a track guru and other like-minded individuals who love track and field. Um, this team is, for me, is probably one of the strongest since the bowl era. And I'm, I'm really looking forward to World Champs this year. I'm really looking forward to us to get in some medals and um, especially for our females, but I'm more so happy for our, our our men this time around a lot of them have been going through a lot of stuff and to finally see them overcome it i am happy for kemar bailey cole to be back on the team after going through so much these last few years with injury and all of that i am also happy for you and blake finally getting back close to his best um and for the youngsters orlando bennett for conroy jones for akin uh, um, akin blake i'm happy for all of those Hopefully we can go to World Champs and produce the goods. I'm looking forward to um this World Championships. It's, it might not be our best, but it, it should give we should reap some 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 good um results there for this one. Yeah, man. And yeah, the question answered Akeem Bloomfield is on the team. He's the one that has replaced Andrew Hudson for the 200 meters. So yes, he's on the team. So people really appreciate you being here. It's always a pleasure for us to be here to talk track and field. One of the best sports in the world. Um, definitely. You see, track and field conversation, always nice and insightful. Different opinions coming out and all of these things. So thank you very much. Stay safe. And we'll definitely see you next time around. The next uh, track talk we'll have is on Tuesday, where we take it from track side again. And we'll continue as we go closer to the World Championship. Hey, we have a nice panel lineup for this World Championship, people. You can't afford to miss it. It's going to be epic. Chuck can feel nice. You understand? So big up yourself. Stay safe. Until next time, peace out. And people, there's a pinned comment or link in the comment section. I want you to go on that link, click the link, and support Talk Track with Fabian. Fabian gonna hear, he has a channel, Track and Field channel. And if you love Track and Field, just go hit the, the comment and, you know, support the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Share it to your friend. Tell a friend to tell a friend about Track Talk with Fabian gonna big up yourself, Akil. You know your thing to Bridget. Yeah, man. Big up yourself, man. Big up yourself. Big up Tiddly Wings. Tiddly Wings was here, but he had to run. And big up to Mr. Powell, who came on and had to be subjected. <laughs> if I may say, you know what I mean? Big up on yourself. Until next time, people. Stay safe. Peace out. Your style and your flavor make the city rock. They must say the season come out with a bang. Coach Minzy, best round here. Remember that.